If we talk, now 500,000 they go summer house, call them hate speech. But fear not, my ego don't come. In go touch light every corner, looks and cranny of all these bad, bad people where they spoil our country. <laughs> so my people make me love Okay, some people be they hala say they want the power. Jai. Them be promise us say we go get light and power. Nah, nah. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Sheer. Every day dollar just they get the higher power. Over naira, see them talk say make we off mind. But then God say my ego don't come. So my people make you loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. No one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. He too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. One man picking, they the street they hawk. Still them talk say make we no talk. But thank God say my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello Good morning to you once again. Good afternoon to you and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is my Thank you so much for joining me once again. And please, as usual, okay. Kindly let me know uh, how the audio is on your own device right there, okay? Please let me know that. Apart from the background music that seems to be going back and forth, off and on like that, right? Uh, let me know how this sounds, like you are hearing me right now. Share the broadcasts. <laughs> Some news from uh, other part of Africa, West Africa, from Senegal to Togo. Their stories are a little bit like, you know, sort of uh, inspiring, but there are stories behind them. We want to kind of pick the stories behind them. Maybe you and I can learn one or two things tonight. Hear the broadcast. You have seen them taking shot at the Nigeria Naira. The Central Bank of Nigeria is playing with you. 
and some people are already asking questions. How come the dollar is going down and the price of uh, food is going up? What is going on? Voodoo economy. <laughs> I should, I should be a chief, right? Yes, I I I just for your own information, Sheikh Osama bin Gumi has met with those that invited him, the security agents. And according to him, the conversation was very, very, the interaction, he called it, interaction was very, very uh, fruitful. And there is no cause for alarm. Have you shared the broadcast yet? So yes, but today, so good morning to you once again, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are joining us from. It is Mayegun, and this is live. If you have read the caption of the broadcast, the description of this broadcast, and you have shared it, and you have also liked the video from whatever platform you are watching it from right now, this is for you. Thank you. Now, let us start from the start. From the news, I mean, sorry, from Senegal. We have been hearing this positive news uh, from the effort of the citizens who are also so similar to that of Nigeria. They are also a country of uh, uh, different ethnic uh, tribes and all that, you know, conjured together. But they were colonized by French, just like Nigeria was that of uh, British. Somehow, somehow, the politics of divide and rule also work in Senegal. I mean, for some time, it's always been the lot, the establishment. But this last, this last two years seems to have changed all of that to the point that the airport has actually been uh, a fruitful uh, success where a man that was in prison 20 years, I mean, sorry, 20 days ago, he was a prisoner of state. And uh, today is the president elect. But it seems that uh, the fruits, as they say, did not fall far from the tree. From the time uh, this kind of uh, video popped up uh, on the internet today, and that is the headline for this broadcast his message to France. It is high time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization, and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. It's time for France to take a cue from its European neighbors and learn a valuable lesson in independence. Germany is the leading economic power in Europe, significantly surpassing France, which is ranked as the third or fourth largest economic power globally. Germany does not exploit any country, any colony. I can mention Italy, I can mention Spain, who had colonies before, but who do not exploit anyone, who do not interfere, who do not impose leaders in their former colonies. On what grounds does France believe it can continue to impose leaders on us and make choices on our behalf? This must come to an end. And the emerging Africa, the African youth, the African elites, and the African diaspora all stand united in saying no. 
it cannot continue any longer. France's hypocrisy is evident and pervasive in daily life. Let's examine the cases of Mali and Chad as prime examples of this hypocrisy. In Chad, where the constitutional process has been interrupted, France applauded and its president visited to officially consecrate the new king's coronation ceremony. In Mali, where it is not the constitutional process that has been interrupted, but the transition process, France has condemned and even packed up its things to say that it is leaving Mali. That's hypocrisy. It's the double standard. It is the double language that France employs in its dealings with Africa. During our questioning of Mr. Jean-Yves Le Drian regarding the situation in Ivory Coast and France's decision to allow a third term, he provided a clear explanation. He stated that while he accepted the third term for Ouattara, he refuses it for Belarus. He emphasized that France has condemned the situation in Belarus and has actively encouraged the European Union to do the same. Le Drian explains that in Belarus, millions protested, unlike Ivory Coast, where there were no mass demonstrations on the streets. This is how France deals with African issues. Personally, we expect absolutely nothing from France. We desire her to cease meddling in our matters so that the people of Senegal can exercise their freedom of choice rather than being influenced by France's selection of a candidate using the tactics we are aware of. We begin by targeting individuals, adorning them with the Legion of Honor or a similar knightly rank, enlisting them in Masonic lodges and informing them to prepare themselves as they will be next in line. Even the hypothesis that Macky Sall may not succeed, we know who is being prepared by France. This must come to an end. It will not occur in this manner any longer. Let's be clear. We have absolutely nothing against the French people. In France, both political and citizen voices are rising to hold and express the same discourse as the one I'm currently presenting to you. For example, the deputies, such as Mrs. Frédéric Dumas, who regularly speaks on the platform of the Assembly, who regularly writes to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, since she is a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, to raise this unfair behavior of France towards Africa, hold the same speech as us. The same Mr. Jean-Luc Mélenchon, Jean-Paul Lecoq, André Chassaigne, all deputies, hold the same discourse as us and hundreds and hundreds of other voices. The NGO NGOs, like other non-profit organizations, are doing remarkable work in the same direction. We strongly urge France to listen to the voices that speak to it about our plan for a more collaborative, fairer, and sustainable partnership between Africa and France. It is crucial that we work together towards a future that is equitable, just, and environmentally conscious. If she listens, I believe we'll have beautiful days ahead in our collaboration together. If he doesn't know how to cut it, thinking he can continue to function like in the time of our grandfathers, this African youth no longer accepts it. France must make preparations for a definitive break and completely withdraw from Africa. Africa belongs to Africans, not France. She belongs to no one else, neither China, nor the United States, nor anyone else. It is high time for France to leave. Hmm. The guy you heard this speech there is the vice president elect of Senegal today. The young people the young Africans in diaspora are returning back even though they are still being emasculated by the, the known imperialists. But there is a lot for me and you to learn, especially a lot of us who are in the diaspora who actually knows what is wrong with our different uh, countries in Africa, Nigeria in particular. You listen to that young man there. That was him making a speech on behalf of the rest of uh, African uh, countries that have been regularly exploited by France. Taking a stand and saying, the youth of Africa now, 
or the emerging youth of Africa, they will no longer settle for less like their grandfathers. Isn't that impressive? That ended up uh, to electoral victory for these guys in Senegal. I mean, let's give credit to the establishment in their country that did not compromise, especially their judiciary. The youth of Senegal, like the major, they are the majority. Okay, the I mean highest percentage of the population of Senegal is made up of the people who are under forty, under thirty, in their millions. But there is already, you know, as usual, there are already established system in Africa that are there in different African countries. They are the, their main objective is to keep their people in perpetuity of poverty, okay? The young people, the old. And then help and join arms with the colonialists who gave uh, independence to Africa, but made Africa dependent on them, okay? To continue to exploit their people as both human and natural resources. I mean, the rest of the world is filled with Africans who are to go and fend for something elsewhere, far away from their lands, while their land are occupied by the old imperial, I mean, their criminal leaders, as well as uh, their collaborative uh, colonialists. The imagine Africans, the imagine African youth, most of them from the diaspora, they have acquired all the knowledge that's prepared them for actual leadership. Rather than continue to stay back in the diaspora to, uh, well, I continue to make uh, the same uh, Western world, okay, flourish while their land continue to be pillaged. So they continue to push that. You did that in Nigeria last year. A lot of diasporans invested so much in that charade election in Nigeria, but the rest, they say, is history today. But in Senegal, they did not stop. And the institutions, they were supposed to stand behind them. As corrupt as their country and their institutions supposed to be, there were few left, the judiciary. And that was the moment when the incumbent uh, president eh, decided to postpone election because he saw that he would have no chance of imposing his own uh, stuji as successor. Soko, it is called Sonko. Let me take this off. Diamoye. Eh, is uh, BC, uh, Bisiru, eh, I uh, sorry, Basiru, Basiru Diamoye Faye. That is the guy on the left, is the 44 year old president elect of Senegal. 20 days ago, he was in prison just for criticizing the president of Senegal ahead of election. The president of Senegal wanted them removed. They called them anarchists. They called them people who wanted to destroy the country. They said they were the people who wanted to start war in Senegal if they lose election. The election, they were not guaranteed that they will win. The system continually said, these are the troublemakers in Senegal, and they must be stopped. So the two of them were put in jail 20 days ago. And today, the one on the left is the president-elect. The one on the right is the vice president elect. This is what uh, Faye himself, Basiru, had to say in French this time. Please take a look at uh, the subtitle on the screen, it will help you. Je salue la posture des autres candidats qui, sans exception, ont honoré une tradition bien sénégalaise sans même attendre la proclamation des résultats officiels par les instances habilitées de l'État. Leur message de félicitation sont le témoignage éloquent de leur grandeur. Je m'engage à gouverner avec humilité dans la transparence, à combattre la corruption dans toutes les échelles, à toutes les échelles. Je m'engage à consacrer, à me consacrer pleinement à la refondation de nos institutions et au renforcement des fondements de notre vivre ensemble. Cette élection est intervenue dans un contexte 
marqué par une crise préélectorale qui aura coûté des vies, qui aura fait de nombreux blessés, qui aura vu de nombreux patriotes emprisonnés. Nous entendons tourner cette page pour réconcilier les cœurs, réconcilier les Sénégalais et nous mettre inlassablement au travail qui devra mar marquer et réaliser l'espoir qui a été suscité par mon élection et le projet dont je suis le porteur. Je lance un appel à nos frères et sœurs africains pour qu'ensemble nous consolidions les acquis obtenus dans les processus de construction de l'intégration de la CDAO tout en corrigeant les faiblesses et en changeant certaines méthodes, stratégies et priorités politiques. Je voudrais dire à la communauté internationale, à nos partenaires bilatéraux et multilatéraux, que le Sénégal tiendra toujours son rang. Il restera le pays ami et l'allié sûr et fiable de tout partenaire qui s'engagera avec nous dans une coopération vertueuse, respectueuse et mutuellement productive. Et de réserver une mention particulière à un homme. Je pense que je n'ai pas besoin de le citer pour le nom. Oui, le président Ousmane Je salue la posture. Président Sonko. That's it. 44 year old man eh, leading the, the struggle of the young people in a country that they believe that they are so blessed than what they have been given. A lot of them believe that the generations, the older generation before them, eh, they had it so better than them, than what they are offering them. And in the fight for we deserve better. The result is just uh, what you just saw there. Okay, now it is time for them to prove it. And guess what? His first message is to tell everyone that, listen, you know, I have to acknowledge what we have suffered. Our patriots that, that, that were jailed. Our patriots that, that died. We must never forget the hope mm, attached to this struggle. And right there on that same podium, he started extending his hand of brotherhood to this other young uh, revolutionaries in this uh, chart in Mali, uh, not chart per se, maybe Mali, in uh, Burkina Faso, and, you know, uh, Niger Republic, telling them that, uh, you know, despite all the weaknesses, it will be time for us to hold ourselves as brothers, young people with revolutionary visions and minds, and now they can go prove something. So the failed older generation in their country, the political class, they would have to take the back seat now. So whether they are going to make a Senegal great, greater, now their destiny is, the, is in their hands now. Do you understand? Not in the hands of uh, career criminals, those who, are so, who have been so used to systemic kleptomania eh, that it has become a state policy. Their people are suffering, their economies are dying. But as long as uh, their own lifestyle continues to be funded, then everything is fine. That is one thing I want us to pick from there. And if you leave uh, Senegal, still in West Africa, yeah, you have uh, Togo. The news from Togo this afternoon is that they have changed their own constitution. Now, this is not new in that part of uh, the world, okay? Because, you see, uh, the current president of uh, Togo, uh, what is his name again? Enadema. Yansigbe Enadema. Ogudogu Enadema. You should have known the Enadema, Sabi. Before them born me, the Enadema have been ruling uh, Togo. So when the Enadema father died, the, the son took over. And the son has been in power for 19 years now already. 
but somehow this hasn't bring, I mean, sort of bring about uh, uh, any unity or progress, so to say, they've always been having problems too. So they decided that, okay, the system of government that will work for them, eh, the system of government that will work for them is not going to be presidential system of government. They will need a new constitution that will actually, right, that will actually like uh, identify and acknowledge every uh, part of the country, every part, I mean, tribal, ethnic nationality that make up the country, their own interest will be fully identified in that, captured in that uh, constitution. So they choose to write another one. And in that agreement, eh, they agree that this guy who is there right now can complete his term by being the first to enjoy it. But he's not going to enjoy it as a full term. It's currently about five years of his 19-year rule, second or third or fifth term of his 19-year rule. So they are now saying, in this our new law call, to be the president of the country, that's your problem, but it's a parliamentary, I mean, parliamentary system of government. We, do not, we don't want to practice presidential anymore. And anybody that is party is the majority. That is the party that elects the majority members. They will be the one to now choose a uh, prime minister, the president. That party will choose. So if they do another election, the party will lose majority. The majority party will choose president, prime minister. But for this guy there, yeah, let him complete his tenure. He would have to spend just extra one more year plus what he's using. I think he will now make it at 23 years or 22 years. And he will have no right to contest or run for office again. The Yademas. This is the son. Now, in Papa first be president. In Papa was president for about uh, 30 years or something. Then this one, when in Papa died, he became president. Now he's been president for 19 years already. So to do away with him, finally, and the old clan, eh, dynasty, eh, they decided that uh, okay, you will you will you will you know you will complete uh, the first part of your uh this, but from now on, so again, Nigerians, if they pay attention, that is where you are still going to handle. Everybody will still come back to that agreement and say, listen. If we want to continue to be part of this contraption, we will have to renegotiate the entire thing. And if we don't agree on any agreement or anything, eh, everybody will go a separate way. There are many, many of there are many countries that will be created out of current uh, contraption that are far, far bigger than Togo, the Benin Republic, than Ghana, than some of these African countries. Not only in landmass, so including in population. When you now weigh their, their economy, if you allow them to run on countries that will be create, that will be broken out of Nigeria, eh, their economy will still be far, far better than that of uh, all these countries. But you are scared of trying it out. So we die here. Eh? No, you, I, I mean, it is going to get to a point whereby you will be queuing up to decide if you want to still be part of Nigeria or not. Sorry, eh? I feel like uh, that uh, cap is already giving me it. So I may take it off uh, very soon, okay? But that is from Togo. And the news just sort of uh, swept uh, through Nigeria, like, so it is possible for people to actually change their form of government. Of course, the current one you have, the one before it, since 1963, which led to 1966, the entire system of government that they have been forcing on the rest of Nigeria, none of you are the same in them. None of our parents, none of their own parents, not us, had an input to say, okay, this is how we wanted it. State creation in Nigeria had no input from any, people just woke up and said, hey, you are now from Kogi State. Oh, Kogi, okay, we are now Kogi. Hey, get up, you are now Delta. Okay, Delta B. Hey, they say we are now Delta. Delta, we are Delta. Delta, you Delta. They say you, 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 you. You are now Yobi. They say, oh, hey, hey, we are Yobi now. Where to where again? They say here, 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 here. You are Yobi. Oh, yeah. Go everywhere and say you are Yobi. None of us actually, not our parents, not their own parents. Nobody actually had a say, or now they arrive at that. 
So if you are defending anything they told you, you are defending a lie. So yes, a system can be changed, okay? And when the system is changed, it has to suit the people who want to operate them. The type of government you want, you will look at yourself and say, what kind of government you want? This is the one we want. Okay, oh yeah, take, go practice up. Sink or swim or eh, drown or save. Oh yeah, go practice up. Not the one they impose on you and they will tell you it's non negotiable. If you dare talk about it, eh, they have to charge you for treason, treasonable felony. I won't worry. My own children will not grow up to believe those lies. The ones they try so much to socially condition me. You know, they socially conditioned us. All these primary schools, secondary school, all these things, you know, no, say, if you sit down very well and pay attention and see, it is the you know regular indoctrination. Indoctrination. You think the same way. You see things the same way. Tunnel vision. For duty or run. Do anything. You get that? So yes, my own children should not be of the same. Your children shouldn't. Even if you have become a dry fish, that uh, sometimes we'll probably have to use a, a what do you call it? Uh, command and control. Have you killed my touch and go? I for sure will look boom to talk to you. Even if we use our for sure, some of you, there are some certain things that can no longer change about you. That is how you are going to die. But let's save the generation coming after you. They cannot die in that ignorance. Here you get. Uh, uh, so sometimes it's not about changing you, it is about helping the generation coming after you. Since we cannot stop you from procreating, we can't stop you from reproducing. It's natural, right? The same way they will say, uh, uh, you know, uh, you should respect older people. And we're like, hey, come on, man. Hey? Is there anything that normal people do? Where foolish people know they do? Hey? Foolish people. Then they marry. Then they fall in love. Yes. They procreate. See? They reproduce, they born like normal people. Yeah, they appear like normal people too until you kind of get closer and you're like, oh my God. So you see, we might be saving a lot of generation after us, after all. So when you now see foolish people and say, hey, they, you know, old age, old age, old age, but who know they grow, you see, people, they grow old. Normal people, they grow old. Wise people, they grow old. Intelligent people, they grow old. Uh, you know, foolish people, they grow old too. Yeah. So why are you acting surprised? Do you think if somebody, if somebody is foolish, so foolish, so foolish, so foolish to the point that uh, he, their entire DNA and the rest of that is pretty much like a foolish lane. You know, all those uh, kind of, uh, oh, you don't know that. There's, 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 you know, there's this type of... Uh, uh, DNA foolishly, but don't try and Google that, okay? Yeah, it is DNA, man. Have you not seen 40 year old people in Nigeria where they shout out, can be 45 years old? How can be? How can be? How can be behind the 88 years old man, 88 years old drug lord, 45 year old? You never see 40 year old Nigerians when they collect their pocket money for house. Let me say their parents rich. But condition, the, the condition outside has sent many of them back to their, to their parents' house. They are just, some are waiting for their parents to die so that they can be landlord. Because you see, what their parents, when their parents were their age, 25, 30, eh? but you know the thing come? When our parents, eh, when they were like in their 20s, 30s, they were actually doing normal things. Those ones that were working, see, those ones that were schooling, eh? they were like superb in their education. You see, those ones that were working, eh? they were like really working class. You see, ah, that one are working class. They were like falling in love normally at that age. Some of them were like getting married at 19, 22. They were just like graduates with jobs. Some could like afford the brand new cars, 504 Pojo. Papa, 
at the age of 26, 25. These were like, you know, 27, 28. They started family like, no man, no man. You did, you'd be 27. They still they ask you, say, what, see, you need to do something with your life, oh. And you are saying that, why are they rushing you? Why are they rushing you? Eh? Why, why are you rushing me? Am I the only person that, that, that yeah? At your age, oh, at 35, you are using the, uh, uh, Bokwari's uh, picture as your profile picture on social media. You they call yourself, I am a die-hard Buharist. I will die anywhere, Buhar. Let me tell you, I, I know Buhari die. At the age of 40, you no get job. Eh? Some of you, you have become so useless that eh? you, oh my dear man, you no get job, you no get life, you no get wife, you no get family. You have no real purpose. You have no nothing. You wake up every day, just and next whatever, whatever God pushed to you that day. Now your own, eh? You live by the day. Or oh, you they read the news or somebody will just become president. Forty-four year old in Senegal. And now you see no sit down and think about your life and say, ah, my parents were not rich. Like they were not really rich. If you think about it. But somehow, somehow, some of them were able to build houses. They were able to send children to schools. Papa, you go see this one Janjala man. Now, bricklayer in the do. Your papa, now bricklayer. But he's sending battalion to university. Funding the lifestyle of uh, his children. But today, some of you cannot even feed yourself. Douglas of feeding another person's daughter. But you are a champion. You are a champion on defending Nigeria. This is our country. Anybody that says this country cannot be great. All, uh, we will do, we will die here. You we are at Italy and die here. Let's save the one coming, please. So that's why I said that we may not be able to save you anymore. And I do not have the intention of saving people where we say they don't become dry fish. These people, they procreate. Foolish people, they born. Foolish people, they fall in love. Don't pretend that you don't know that. You think now that they fall in love or they have a wife or they have a husband, they will become wise. Huh? Anyway, Sha, we will get there. Okay? You are going to one day realize this and very soon. And if you don't, your children will. No, I promise you that. Your children, my children, they won't live their life. And that's why they won't like us and say, hey, you cannot, you cannot be doing it like this. You cannot, you know what I mean? Like, Calm down. You calm down. Okay? We you see, one, one, you know, they say the, the difference between, currently we are here and we will be there, you see, Abby, but they say the current between here and there. Papa, Natisha, here, there. Nati, and the smart one said the T is time. The difference between here and there is T, the time. So from here, we will be there. We are inching closer. Let the rogues in Nigeria continue. Because I beg you now, I beg you now. A country where somebody like a Wede Wike and Co. We will come to that one. So uh, earlier today, this afternoon, we were looking into uh, this issue of uh, Kaduna kidnapping and the release of these children. But one thing we have now observed is that, even let's say when we ask a question, we sort of get some people angry. I don't know if you have noticed, especially eh, Sonny the Clown, the Kaduna Stuji governor. That is the Kaduna Little Finger says to G. Sonny the Clown. Baba Sonny the Clown last night was asked, you said these children were rescued. Were, was there any shootout or, because this guy said they wanted one million, uh, one billion naira. So what did you, did they just change their mind and all that? Omo Alaye became uh, agitated. 
and he said, why, why are people, especially all of you foreign media, why are you asking all these questions? Eh? Uh, we told you that it is not 187 children. It is only 137 children. They even have a child that they quoted, okay? In fact, I'll start from there. Let's go see where uh, Sonny was talking to a child that they said, oh, the child confirmed that only 138 of them were kidnapped. Their teacher was somewhere and their teacher died. Even though one of those who escaped the day of the kidnapping, who happened to be one of uh, the head teachers in that uh, school, came back and told everyone in the presence of uh, the son in the clown himself that they have a total of 287 missing. And the media covered that, and Sonny also covered, and it was, you know. So now they have these children, the children that were like, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, all garbed in the Ashwebi. So somebody said, if you are looking for any, if you are going to any Owambe, and you do not want to be disappointed by your tailor, you should call Sonny the Clown. Eh, to give you the number of the tailor in Kaduna that never fails. Some said maybe the children were released before then, or maybe they knew when they would be released, and they started they're measuring them to prepare their clothing and all of that. Now, these questions gone gone they cost Wahala. Sonny says you should be jubilating. Okay, hang on. The people that took them, which terrorist group took them? Naboku Aram. Now, full any bandits who took them, you should not be asking this question. Leave this question out of that. We should not be asking the military. First, he said, Ask the military. Then, later, he said, We should not be asking the military how they carry out their operation. Papa, you the mad in it. You the lie to us with the ask question. You the tell us you the crazy in it. Answer the question, Jari Abi, when you will go. That's how I felt, by the way, you know, like. Which one can be nonsense here now? Ogbo wa bogbo wo, shogbo wo, megbo wo, wogbo wa bogbo wo, megbo wo, mogbo wo ke. E woni mo shogbo wo, mogbo wo, mogbo wa bi wogbo wo. Kind of like pushing it back and forth for those who remember that uh, uh, Baba Suez uh, comedy. So the bottom line is, it did do, they said we should just be celebrating. Did they just call you and say, come and get like? No, don't ask questions. We know some of you who are trying because you have never been to Kaduna. You don't even know Kaduna. But yet, you are all there. Eh? International, in the diaspora, online. You are trying to narrate this. Baba, now question we they ask you. We are just asking questions. We are not dumb boast. Or do you really think? You know, you hear the Sonko, where Sonko spoke earlier. Everybody will sit down there. They'll be like, ah, oh, mama, but see how this guy is talking. Let me see how English fluent. This one a diaspora imported Senegalese. It, it, it got to your turn, but by your own state governor, you can't. Come on, man. I'm not surprised. The more they try to shy away from it, the more we are asking questions that uh, explain this. But my uncle first start. No, first go to the part where Ogbo Abebo Chogbo. Did you collect or you know collect? Mo collect, you collect, no me collect. You call, no me collect. Do you get that now? Anyway, let's go to that. Sonny. Mr. Charles, as I'm speaking with you, honestly speaking, in the next uh, 15 hour, 15 minutes, I will be with the children. They're all excited. They are I suppose a question that's very pertinent and on the minds of many people is, were they rescued by security forces or were they released by their abductors? I think uh, this question should go to the security agencies, particularly the... For me, the most important thing, uh, Mr. Charles, is the, as a governor, uh, the most important thing for me is the protection of lives and properties and dignity of the people of Kaduna State. So when the incident happened, I rushed to the service chiefs, the NSA, the president of Nigeria, and everyone that can help. Uh, today, I am happy that they have returned back uh, safely. I didn't want to ask anybody a question. I even caution a lot of people that are asking the question because uh, you need to see the, the families. You need to see the children. You need to see how happy they are. 
uh, for me that is more important as a governor uh, honestly speaking yesterday i was asking someone that asked me a similar question that look if my child is uh, abducted uh, if he's released i wouldn't bother anyone asking question how he's released the most important i won't bother anybody asking questions are you being serious right now and again by the way can we actually begin to tell these criminals that they are public officials and they are nobody's fathers their children are at home and they do know their children you understand like they are these children are not his children and he should by no means put them beside his own uh, child that we all know they will never used to play politics like this is that is that something where they can because sometimes i mean you can see all of them when they see tipnumbu they would some of them will prostrate some of them will kneel and all of that they will say is the father is their father is the i'm the father or i'm your father i'm the father of everybody as a father i cannot you know that kind of is it all right that you younger people begin to remind these older people that uh, hypocrisy uh, that eye service eh, is becoming stale and it's actually stale now and it's becoming more like annoying because they won't treat their children this way and it's not by what they say it is actually by what they do that will prove to you that they are fathers too which father will be comfortable enough to loot the resources that is meant to actually care for the population? Which father would do that? Like, starve your own children. So they are not your fathers. Politicians are not your fathers. They are not your mothers. They are not your helpers. Apart from the fact that they are living up to you, scrounging you, scavenging you, they are working for you. I think it's time for you to know that uh, whatever they do for you is not out of privilege. They are supposed to be right. But they are more or less like privilege now. They want you to say thank you if you want them to do more. So they are not your father or your mother. I hope you remember that. Uh, good. Now, let's go back into that place where he began throwing tantrums because he did not want to answer any question. The full part. Mr. Charles, as I'm speaking with you, honestly speaking, in the next uh, 15 hours, 15 minutes, I will be with the children. They are all excited. They are waiting for me. Uh, they will not be happy to hear me wasting time actually talking about uh, uh, whether they were a gun battle or anything when they are released. <laughs> they, if you need to see them, you will agree with me. They are extremely happy. And um, of course, uh, as you ask me a question, uh, I will also find out, okay? So give me time to find out. Okay. But as far as, as I'm concerned, as of today, I know they were they were released, and um, of course, I know I believe I believe in our armed forces. They told me, and I believe it. No more, no ransom was paid, so we should thank God. That was uh, exactly the statement, and of course, uh, here for me, everybody has his own priority. What is my priority as a governor is to get my my children back, and they're back. That is my priority for now. And I'm happy, I thank Almighty Allah, they're back. Yes, that, that, that's, um, that, as, as we said, everybody shares in your um, happiness there. But you, you mentioned that, you, that they did not pay or you did not pay a ransom to get them released. Do you know if anyone else paid a ransom if it wasn't you? Because, I mean, the kidnappers had demanded nearly 700,000, the equivalent of nearly 700,000 US dollars. Can I, can I can I now correct it? Uh, maybe you didn't hear my you didn't hear my statement, Mr. Charles, uh, or my speech. Today I sent a word of caution to conflict merchants and security merchants around the country. Uh, you know, so why some of us are not happy? Let me tell you the truth, Mr. Charles. When these uh, children were abducted, uh, people who have no idea about Kaduna, who have no idea about the community who have no contact with the family, who have never made effort to ensure that these people are released, went to the media with very irresponsible, senseless numbers of 287. For me, that statement is the height of irresponsibility. 
So that's the reason why I believe there are still some conflict merchants who might not be happy that these children are back home safely. That is my position. And these people, instead of them to celebrate, because when the children were, were abducted, millions of people were concerned. I thought it was genuine. When these children were back, I didn't see this kind of celebration. And the conversation has shifted to another thing that is petty to me. We are talking about the lives of the children. That is why I'm worried. And the same characters that went to the media talking about 287, I thought by now they should now be ashamed of themselves because the children are back. And they told the whole world that only 138 were abducted. But guess what, Mr. Charles? A few days ago, some conflict merchants and security, insecurity merchants were in the media, including foreign media, you know, spreading lies, propaganda, everything, that 287 children were kidnapped in Kaduna. Can we now call those characters that were doing such kind of propaganda as far back as three days ago? I would call the media, the journalists, some of them say they are experts. How can they be experts? working on speculation, working on propaganda, working on hearsay. A trade expert should rely on facts and figures. That means they're not expert. I call them insecurity merchants. And by the grace of God in Kaduna, we will never hear something like this. Let me draw your attention to Kajuru incident. Once some people went to the media and said 87 people were kidnapped in Kajuru in Kaduna State. Let me also make it clear to you. That was also a figment of their imagination. There was not any 87 people that were kidnapped in Kajuru. I must tell you to, right. today, I'm still laughing at them. Okay, well, I'm the I governor. Mean, Just like I was laughing at them. When they called the 287 people, I was laughing at them. Yeah, because no. as a governor, I know exactly the number of the students in, in, in Kuliga, primary school and secondary school. I know the people that went to the assembly that morning, but I didn't join issue with those... Uh, Confident merchants, because I know they are doing that for their selfish ends. Yeah. Well, again, I, yeah. The same merchants last week. Let me come. Let, 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 let me say something. I'm gonna say something, Charles. Since you call me here. And still, the question was never answered. Mm -hmm. And from what we have now gathered, the Nigeria. Nigeria Army, they will now release 230 suspected Boko Haram fighters. Because they now found out that they were wrong. These people, did, they don't have any link with Boko Haram. Are you listening? Uh, I decided to say that that way so that you can digest it. I'm not accusing them of anything. No, no, no. no. I'm not saying that uh, they, they are about to exchange 230 Boko Haram fighters with i'm sorry for 137 freed school children since they won't tell us the faction of the boko haram or terror group that took them and since they won't tell us maybe we and they won't tell you as well that they paid ransom the terrorists just changed their mind and they decided to free the ch excuse me to free the children but the army the kaduna governor the tifnobus government uh, they you know they couldn't really say to you that they are doing prisoner swap. Again, 
like you know if i want if i have evidence i will present it and i will accuse them but now i'm not accusing them of anything until i have that evidence i'm just saying it to you that which cry yesterday eh he can die today Somehow, you know, you feel kind of feel like now nah, the wish we cry yesterday killed the picking, we die today. Like it's it's just like uh, the uh sort of a saying, you know. But that doesn't really literally mean, eh? Have you do you think? Yeah, they said they thought those people they they arrested them because they thought so they arrested them uh for having link. To Boko Haram or having link with Boko Haram and all that terrorism activities. But between March 8 and now, when those school children were taken, and the negotiation was started, and a tailor was called in to make the dress for them. And then they got the buses to a location without paying anything. And they put the children in the buses straight to Kaduna governor's house. Their parents couldn't see them uh, for the next few days. And then uh, Nigeria army, not with the court clearance or any sort of investigation that really sort of uh, you know, can back it up and say they carried out a thorough check to say these 230 people were arrested illegally. Therefore, they will be compensated and released. There is no legal nothing or anything. It's just news. The Nigerian army packed them. They put them somewhere. And now they figure out that, oh, we're wrong. No, we're wrong. Okay, you know what? Release them. I'm not saying those people were Boko Haram, but they were kind of arrested for having something to do with Boko Haram, okay? Or killing the soldiers here and there, up north. But that has changed now. So they want you to celebrate. Eh? Well, you should celebrate. But one person that seems not to be celebrating as we speak is the man that his tantrum has taken a new turn. His name is Werewike. Now, you see, where the wiki is publicly asking for help, but majority of you are going to be laughing. And sometimes you're going to be scorning him. Right. Before I take you to where the wiki's latest uh, tantrum, in fact, right now, where the wiki has identified all his enemies, he realizes that somehow, somehow, Fubara has managed to unite all where the wiki's enemy behind himself. Now, those who told Werewike that they will stand with him to the end, majority of them are beginning to jump ship. And Werewike is like, even not Dili, or Dili, will you wait to say, Peter, or Dili, I build you a cancer center. Your name is on the cancer center, or Dili cancer center. You too. Ah, Brutus, you, you too. Mary, Mary, ah, Mary, Mary, or Dili. Injustice, Mary. I built judges' quarters in your name. You too. Ah. So where the wicked is lamenting. But I have, uh, you know, I have uh, some, uh, you know, I have some information I have to kind of uh, give back to you. This afternoon, all right, I shared a video. If I share videos from uh, uh, Soludos and Soludoms Japan, Anambra Japan. And we're talking about the uh, poor handling of road construction in that part of uh, the eastern Nigeria. In fact, we saw a construction whereby the road, you know, a, a, a new road. However, you see the electric pole that was in the middle of that uh, construction was not removed. In fact, they actually constructed the road through that electric pole. That is something, right? Then that same road was reported that uh, the rain, you know, flushed everything up. I reported that because I could, 
you know, I've been following, you know, I told you I follow things everywhere. But there's something I want to quickly correct. Okay. So the impression, the uh, some of the reports we got from Anambra that will change a or change a road or change a junction or something. What's that place again? Which I'll tell you, don't worry. Hang on. So there's a junction along that uh, poorly constructed road that Soludo was building there, okay? And that junction was kind of presented as if to say the entire stretch of two kilometer road is reported was washed off. The road is still poorly constructed. Though. But you know what they are saying? They say, well, number one, the entire surface is not washed off, okay? It's just a section, a part that's been washed off. That is the video that made itself to the internet. The entire stretch is not washed up, but according to them, they have not even completed it. It's not a completed road. Now, some mischief makers want making it look like, say, Soludo is total failure. And I'm not going to pretend I didn't see that. So, therefore, you know, what I see, I'll go show you. And if I also see that, uh, well, this is not totally true, uh, I will also show you. Because the real purpose and intention is to educate ourselves enough that when you're asking questions, so, eh, you're asking the right questions. And if you are going to get angry, you are getting angry for a right reason. That, what, that is what will make your anger genuine. That is what will never make you change your belief when you believe on something that is actually true, not misleading. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, dear. I thought I could hold that. Eh? I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so uh, I have to show you. First, I'll show you the construction. Then I will also show you the portion destroyed. Then I will also show you the entire stretch, which is going to be the after the rainfall. Right? Here is the road before the rain. Please do support the government for a better Anambra. Chanja Junction. And that is right there in Onich, I believe, right? That was before the rain. So, immediately after the rain, yesterday, a portion of the road was like this. So, we don't know where you are, Chanja. Chanja, I got the road before we get there. Chanja, I'm not sure. Yeah, so, we don't know where you are. Yeah, so, we don't know where you are. I don't have a few million dollars to buy March 2024. Yeah. So you don't know where you are, Chanja. 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 Hey, that's the right pronunciation. Uh -huh. It's not Chanja. Okay. So that was immediately after the rain, but it's a portion. It's just a portion there. Listen, the entire work is absolute bollock. All right, but the video was presented in a way that the entire stretch was washed by the rain. Now, let me show you what it looks like today. This is like after the rain now, okay? This is what it looks like, just so you know. So guys, we are in uh, Iweka Road, trying to see the spoiled uh, portion, but we have gone round and we couldn't find the spoiled portion. Hmm? 
Yeah, no, not last. Can I get this? Yeah, I'll go for some. I won't do one minute for here, then. Let me do two minutes. So the last part of the video is considered to be the juncture where the uh the flood okay the flood of water was kind of like you know punch punch and punch until it destroyed but they've managed to anyway you shall saw the place it's the Iweka road you remember this uh time in niger when i did niger that time when the home videos where the nigeria nollywood Yoruba, Yoruba Noli was pretty much uh, uh, started at the time. And you'll be hearing things like, go to Edi uh, Kwejoleni, do matter, pound, pound road, Aba, up, I mean, sorry, Iwe Karo, Opa Iwe Karo, Donicha, Eloko Witi Witi, Witi Witi. Elebolu, like, you remember those days, eh? In the label, in the lossy number 25, eh? A being paid you, Lenny, do matter. Number five, pound road, Abba. Number 1001, upper Iway Carroad, Unicha. That's the Iway Carroad, the popular Iway Carroad. That is where the professor, uh, Taiwan, Solo Dom, is working on. And according to him, it's really incomplete. It's ongoing projects. So, which means the people constructing it are still very much on site. And uh, whatever is wrong with it before they deliver the road as completed, they will fix it. You just have to believe them, Abby. Now, let's go to Porta Courts. Yeah. Obi Akpot to be precise. If that is the river state, oh, we are with the wiki, the little Hitler, eh? They say is uh, is it Obi Akpot? Little Hitler, where the wiki is still battling with his own godson, Simkad Fubara. Now, Simkad Fubara, according to where the wiki, is a silent killer. Fubara did not show his color. He was quiet until they 
they rigged him in as governor. Where the wicked believe that he has, uh, he has fulfilled his life ambition. He has run his political enemies out of town. They would never amount to anything anymore in the in river state politics, as long as he lives. Unfortunately, God, our creator, God said, now 10% in the collect. If you go to church, how much is your tight? If you don't want things to be tight for you, as they threaten, I mean, threaten you every now and then. If you don't want things to be tight for you, pay your tight. Even God, now 10% is the demand. Will the wicked demand for 25% of the revenue, all resources in the river state, Kiludi? Eh? Took over 70% of political appointments to the point that some people who served under with the wicked as commissioner, eh? They were still the same commissioners under Fubara, same position. And their loyalty is to their boss, who is now serving a new master in Abuja. Eh? On your Monday, we shall stand. Jackaban. On your Monday, we shall stand. Jackaban. On your Monday, on your Monday. Your man, we shall start. The way they cried out, he said, Fibara was about to destroy his political base. And once his political base is gone in River State, he is nothing. And therefore, he will fight to death. The House of Assembly guys are still doing his bidding, by the way. They are making laws, they are passing through. I mean, they are starting over, over, I mean, bypassing the Fubara. You know what I mean? Like, Fubara is governor, but he's he getting all side. You know, the status of assembly, they get their own master. So the entire state is like, uh, eh? But Sibe, the talk said they won't ban with, with the wicked from Obi Akbo. Imagine people from your own community. Come right let us say you don't be from their community. You'll be bastard. Where you can say, me, under one year, all of them don't turn against me. Which, you know, including the odd release. The odd release that, 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 you know. Ma take you to River State where Obi a poly to Hitler with a wiki is lamenting. It might be annoying. But can you use this to cool up, okay? Maybe laugh. All right. We just celebrated a 44-year-old president in Senegal. And some of you are sitting there and you're like, huh? Ah? Thinking about your life, like, ah, can you move life, Mishi? Even me. I don't sit down and think about my life. I say oh, more 40 years. There's no chance I'll be president of anywhere till I die. And there's a reason. It's because even though I don't beg anybody, made them burn me for that contraption, I open my eyes. I realize, say, that they shout up Nepa. And others as you know, like that, I say, ah, oh, God damn it, now this place I didn't burn me. What's not I go to? I kill myself and, and become a born again. So I have to face it. You can be like a die like every man. You face it, face your fear. Nigeria is the weapon fashion against me. And the moment I realized that, I don't get choice. Yeah? So I was thinking about my life. But here is a 55-year-old man, a former state governor, a drunkard, that is publicly lamenting that he's don't trust the political uh, base. They are betraying him. So if you cannot uh, be angry, then laugh, please. So many people find excuses to do whatever they want to do. I am proud to come from Obi Labo. As you go through it, because you will get paid. You can see those of us who are really from Obi Labo. I know there are so many people who are not from Obi Labo who claim they are from Obi Labo. But our characters who know them. You have seen the speaker Martin Amehule. You have seen the character of real Obi Akbo person. You have seen King Slogan the chin there. That is the true character of Obi Akbo person. You have known me, you have seen me. I came out in this country and I challenged my party. Except you do the right thing, we will fight injustice. That is the character of a real Obi Akbo person. And that also translates as a real reverse people. There are people who say they are reverse people, but by the antecedent, it cannot be real reverse people.
Pressure came on me. Pressure came at the time we wanted who would succeed me. Pressure came. One of the very best I would have presented would have been Okip Chinda. One of the very best. Forget those, those fake Ikoro people who were running around saying that they want to be governor. They cannot serve master and boy. But they are watching on the road now to serve boy. No really Ikoro man says that and goes back. No really Ikoro man will tell you you will vomit and take back. That cannot be an Ikoro man. And that cannot be a re reverse uh, person. Chinda has told you, do not bother yourself. In Ikoro tradition, when you start beating the drum, of wrestling. It is not that time the real wrestlers will come out. Do you understand me? The real wrestlers will come in later. Towards the end, that's where you see the real uh, wrestlers. Leave all these people who cannot stand ordinary hunger. Whom God has given them something, yet they cannot manage what God gave them. I pity the boys, young boys who were shouting before. Now these same people have gone to take their position. They can never stay one place. When I wanted to become governor, 2014-2015, the same people fought me. That nothing they didn't do to get a ticket. They couldn't get it. And they had no choice. Because they know that my predecessor is going now, so they couldn't go back to him. They have no choice but to come to me. In 2023, just because they couldn't get a ticket. They swore over their dead body. They went and supported another presidential candidate. I said, for me, and that's how the music, Yendeba, Yendeba, that's how it came. You have taken, and that is who to take. I said, I will stand and I will fight for a South Anna to be president. All of them, they said, this man, he will die today. This man, he will die uh, tomorrow. In fact, we are not sure he will stand for the election. By the grace of God, we won. We didn't only win, we shocked Nigeria. The way politics is supposed to be played. We told PDP, since we don't want to obey the rules, the constitution of our party, all our national assembly members, all our state assembly, you will get the seat. But this presidency, we have agreed it will go to the south. And that was what happened. Isn't that? For, don't forget people going from one place to the other. They are forming this. They are allowed. Don't dissipate your energy. Don't worry yourself. The time will come. We will say, who knows the game? You play the game. So, let nobody worry yourself to say this. I want to thank the members of State Assembly who have shown character, who have seen that, look, money is good, but money is not everything in life. The pastor has preached today, and I tell you in life, be careful. New Zans, Lele. 
nuisance le leg just before you for you forget to it is still very wicked he is still bragging he is very proud of the role he played in uh, rigging tifnumbu in he said they shocked nigerians the way politics was supposed to be played and of course it's like you know there is like taunting you it's taunting every one of you all right he has a platform to talk to you like that anyway <clears throat> because they have a system that never punishes them for violating their own laws and he's confident that instead of getting punished he was rewarded he's only crying out because the political capital he used in getting himself to become the aslika for the same person that he told us that why would he leave pdp with that has malaria to go and join apc that has cancer stage four cancer that will soon die he said that but he ended up having to go and contract a cancer now he is a cancer ambassador apc as confused as anything you can imagine we're a wiki that political capital eh now right now where the wiki is stuck in between he will believe that yes he has been he has been uh, played Kubara has played him but with the federal might with INEC and the rest he can endure the embarrassment for the next uh, three more years when they can now do the same thing they did to bring Fubara to power and do it to Fubara himself. But to remain relevant, he's just somebody who don't know how to play a silent game, I think. And that is pretty much to tell you how this thing they burn them <clears throat> inside. Here is where the all the least collect their own rubber, I mean, their own, uh, their own uh, 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 thoughts. Yeah, take a orderly. Let anybody come out and challenge me. As governor of River State, I took this state to the level that Nigeria must recognize River State. I say it with all amount of happiness. I built 12 flyovers in four years. From 2019 to 2023. I don't want to talk about roads. Look at the law school. The first and the best in this country. <laughs> I took road to Popo. And that was how the Amanda of Popo gave me the key that I should lock or open it anytime I want. And that key is still with me. And the, on the 27th of May, 2023, I went and flagged off the ring road in a in a purple. On 27th. I did it first ever started and completed the first Transcalabari road. I was one who from Emoha and go to Jones Bay dualizing to Teme Junction. And I told Jones Bay every month I sign collect 4.5 billion from IGL. I awarded the first phase of the dualization of Ahuda Road. 
and I started the second from Ahuda to Omok. And I signed an SPO with Jonas Vega, collect four point something billion every month. I did it. All the schools they are talking about today, I did them. So tell people envy. Today I've gone to Abuja. Abuja was low. Today Abuja is high. Hospital at the Garrison Junction. I completed it. I furnished it. And I said, Look, let this thing be part of your 100 days in office. Go and commission them. The Uniport Con Convocation Arena, which I gave to somebody who said he would also have master and boy. I paid 98%. I said, make sure you commission it 100 days in office. So as he came, they said, oh, wrong, don't commission. He said, well, you will be taking the credit. What's my business? If you commission, you don't commission. What's my business? The record is there. If we get blessed, if we get blessed, yes, we get blessed. We get blessed, we get blessed. We get blessed, we get blessed. The road for Sadua, the road for Sadua, to do a last Sadua, to come on. I started it, I finished it. The entire rose in America, America. I hear somebody there now says, Don't worry, God will pay everybody back. The entire rose in America and the school Jesus I did it. In both government comprehensive, in particular, we all CJ where I went to school. I did it. All the roads in Burakiri, I did it. And I named the one to one of these people. <laughs> From here to here. From here to here. I did the entire roads in the LLA Limini and the LLA Okanali. In Ebeda, I awarded the first internal roads. So MCC. The transmission line is a super highway. For generated electricity and power. They could not even make a damn payment for a roasted corn. Hi, hi, me, 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 hi, hi. That's all I was hearing, oh. You know. Eh? Hi, hi. It was so, he has so much, hi, hi, me, me, that he asked, I asked some of them handed over to Fubara. Oh, yeah, Fubara. Okay, you know what? Oh, yeah, take these ones, okay? Take and celebrate on their days. Because I have hi, hi, me, 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 I did, I, I, me, me. Not our government. Our government did this. Our government did that. All of us that did this together were those who also worked to, uh, to make you Fubara governor so that you can continue from there.
and all of this, I, I, me, me, I, I, me, me. Now, because say of 25%, oh, 25% money, 75% appointments. Are you listening? 25% money, 75% appointments. And when it comes to contracts, the governor of River States, the second uh, richest state in Nigeria after Lagos, eh? the governor of that state cannot sign a check that is more than 50 million naira without the approval of Wede Wike the Emperor. I, I, me, me. I'm so sorry if it is so embarrassing and somehow, somehow like cringy, right? We will see the concluding parts. I promise you, this is the last part. I promise you. You need to hear the part of how he dig at the orderlies. How he dig at them is something you have to bring out your phone and record and listen to after the broadcast. I swear. Listen. The whole role of the four, I did it. The role in my father, I did it. What is everybody talking about? Look at this one. This one we are adding now. All the you are seeing, I'm standing here without any document to show you what we did. When I was governor. I took in the state for oil wells. I will have defeated them in the Supreme Court. Today, Imo State is collecting the money because I'm not there. It is not about Wiki has this, Wiki has that. You have your own. I, I don't have it. Petition me. I don't have what? Immunity. After all, most of them are experts in writing petition to EFCC. They were the ones who wrote against our major to EFCC. Let them write. I don't have immunity. Then the fire what it takes. Appear before the press. Talk with the press. Live coverage. Let them ask you question. And you talk. Let's see. I talk with the press every day. I say, ask me question. It's not about going to pay one dollar to say it's weakest counselor, whom I don't even know. At my level, what, what am I going to do with the counselor? All I do, I tell my people, go and find who will be a counselor. What is my business? That is, instead of you to go and check assembly that you are fighting with. <laughs> Look at how they are eating their money. All of them come from constituents, is it not true? Is it not true? I'm a leader of Obambo and Indonesia, in Nobiso. Where are your assembly people? I'm a leader of Patagot. Where are your assembly people? I'm a leader of the Degema. Where is your assembly? I'm the father of Akutoro. Where are your assembly people? Without me, there's no territorial half. Without me, there's no MOA, Hafa. Without me, I would have not exist, Hafa. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. Yeah. Che, you have two assemblies. Do you have one? 
are from Bogota. Even the one do you have? I'm from Ghana. I used to be in the Senate. I, I, I wrote a local content law. Do you have an assembly member? I'm from Thai. Without me, nobody can near Thai. Do you have one assembly? I'm from Alabama. Who teach them a lesson? Where's your assembly member? All they do is to send, oh, you know, you are one of those strong job boys. Uh, don't follow with you. Thank you. That's the only message they have. So I decided to make sure that I have this opportunity to let people not be feeling bad that people are abusing me. If they don't abuse me, who would they abuse? I'm their problem. Some of them cannot do it. The whole world ought to fall. I did it. Sorry, I actually kind of ended there and quickly go straight to where he took his dig at I me mean, against the audience. Then we can go. All right. Listen, this Aribu is referring to one man, one woman. No. Listen. I built the cancer center on record time by the best construction company, Julius Vega, and I named it after one man. I built Judicial Institute, and I named it after one woman. Odili and his wife. But the two of them are now Fubara's godfathers. And they have betrayed Willie Wiki. So, did you notice that it's not dancing? You know, Willie Wiki likes to dance and he will dance to the music. Did you notice that it's not dancing? Eh, eh, that's all you need to know. Somebody said, but he's supposed to be in Abuja doing what? Eh? When he's already been overthrown back there in, uh, in his own supposed base, the base he used in negotiating to become a minister under the drugie, that's the base they are threatening there under one year. Do you think it's going to last uh, three years? And they won't kind of put, because the moment they realize that it's of, it's no, of no use. And these people gather themselves and take uh, Fubara to go and see Tifnumbu to go and, you know, kiss the ring and lick the ass. With a wicked can wake up the, the, I mean, tomorrow, he's already sacked. Eh? <coughs> they did it to El Rufaya, didn't they? El Rufaya minister. Who would ever believe that they, they were going to uh, reject uh, El Rufaya? Nigeria Senate rejected El Rufaya. You don't get the drift. Don't worry. So, yes, that's uh, where the wicked there. I was talking about that same river state, right? Here is what uh, the NSCDC have been doing and police. There's somebody that they call the number one uh, court leader in the river states. The people seem to have protested to the police and all that. Now it seems they have killed him. I kind of want to add it to that reverse report. Two reports from reverse state there, right? After we the wiki. Do you mind? Please. <laughs> Right now, I'm so excited. Even the community are so excited. Because this young man has been terrorizing the community for the past years with the effort of tracking him down. But we are happy today that the feat has been achieved. David Moses has been a terrorist. He's a serial killer, a kidnapper, and orphan. So it's noted for he's a notorious criminal that does not support to leave. 
thank God for the police. To me, today has been the day that God has decided to make us happy because they are our brothers. Like I was here since around one o'clock till now, and uh, I saw some old men, men and children, they are celebrating. A lot of persons have been happy because they have left their community. Some of them have been suffering, but today we are happy. We are celebrating. We are really happy. We are happy that he's dead. And uh, well, according to them, they said uh, his name is a uh, solution, and he's also called um, a delicate, which is his maternal home, where he has been paralyzing. So that is his name. That's the little. We don't even know him. But according to the information we gathered from people and the security men that came back today, they said he has been there since 2017. All this why. He killed a lot of persons that up to even the pastor that he killed, that, that was the reason why that they were touched. He killed the pastor and his family. So people have been trying to feed the children, about seven children that the pastor has and other families. So today, yeah, look at him here now. He's a very small boy by age. He's a small boy, but... What he does is he doesn't allow people. According to what we hear, that, that uh, the company around and people around, when the mail and other business in that environment has not been going through. But today now, I believe they'll be going back home. So people have been drinking. We are celebrating. So we thank Nigerian police. Although, sincerely speaking, a lot of us lost confidence in there after the death of Bako. But they have brought back hope and peace. So we are happy. We are very happy. We thank Nigerian police. I will thank Commissioner DC. Uh, this for giving us the, the, the mandate again to believe. I would is free a little now. For the past some months now, I should say, uh, we've been moving. We can stay outside till 12 in the night. So we are happy. I'm indeed very happy. Even if the killer was from Ahoda West local government area, and he was killed in Ahoda West local government area. But we do know that cultists in Ahoda East and Ahoda West local government area you know, uh, do things together. So that this one has been brought down today means that, you know, um, criminality will reduce in our own local government area. So I want to commend the IG, I want to commend the Commissioner of Police, and I want to commend the officers of the Nigerian Police Force for what they are doing for us in Akbar Land. Uh, we have been having a series of uh, attacks from this general, so-called general that had just been killed, General Deviki, alias Solution. Uh, he has been on the wanted list since 2016, close to about 10 years. He has been a serial killer. A lot of people have died through his hands. Nobody can fish, nobody can go to the farm because of this man. Uh, he is a kind of the king of the jungle. He comes to town in the west, in Ibia, local government, uh, Ibia clan, to be precise. The clan has been deserted, the community has been deserted. Because anybody who comes around, he kills and escapes at will. He does everything he wanted. So he has been on the wanted list of police for close to 10 years. We are so happy that today, officers of this uh, command, led by the DPO personally, went after him, laid siege, and luckily for us, he has been got. So this is the end of the era of general solution. You know, you know... What shall I say? Until the Lord, yes, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can tell it for God. 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 All I have to say is thank you. It doesn't matter how you see it. If you are somebody who once or who grew up or once lived uh, in uh, communities that are not cities, or you grew up in some of those communities and you have these local terrorists that everybody is afraid of, okay? And uh, maybe due to the little you know, someday they will come around and say they just engage with the police. And they have been killed, and suddenly everybody just feel like, oh, uh, sanity will be brought back now. Somebody was asking, was his death going to bring back a sanity? Maybe temporarily. Because apart from terrorism in Nigeria, the other people that I have not told you much about, and I think I should be telling you much about, is the pandemic of, uh, of uh, courtism in Nigeria. It is a pandemic. 
and I'm talking about uh, you could barely even tell who, I mean, you know, usually you say uh, those who are in uh, higher institutions are those who are, first, I mean, prone to join uh, courtism, Abi. No, you are wrong. Now, every Tom Dick and Nari is a courtist, and you shouldn't try to find out. If you go to River State in Port Harcourt and all these areas, and they say, who dare you? If I ask you and I say, who dare you? Do you know the meaning? Eh? Do you know the meaning? No? Me too. I don't know the meaning. There are some of these slangs I see online, I just feel like, oh, more. She person will have to go back to school to understand how to respond, because if you don't respond well, eh, if you cost you your life, the pandemic of uh, courtism, male, female, drug abuse, like I'm talking about at a, at a record level, you get? If, if a court is whole, you now say, hey, who dare you? Do you? If you don't know what, like I just told you, Abby, they ask you, say, who dare you? I don't know. I think that simply means that who are you? I'm not sure. Don't listen to me, oh, because I don't know the meaning. If they, if they will lay me to, who dare you? I will just be like, uh, Baba, speak the language you understand. And that will be come out uh, my left ear. The pandemic of courtism in Nigeria. We need to even shed more light on that. It is a pandemic. I'm talking about crisis where people will behead themselves. About poor children versus poor children, no, they will behead themselves. And they'll put the head on a spike and put them at uh, you know, visible areas where people will see them. Eh? They will cut themselves, they will cut the head of, you know, they will cut themselves heads, right? And they'll put them in a sack and then they'll post it to the to the family of the people that they have killed and say, yeah, take delivery. That's another pandemic after, after terrorism in Nigeria. In fact, every I mean, every courtist in Nigeria should actually be tried for terrorism. Is that too much? I'm telling you that they are brutal. Brutal, like bru bru brutal. You do not want to find out. And it is no longer in schools now. If Okada man carry you, speak the language to you, and you are not like a, you know, you are not like a, the Bessie Sabi, Otilonio. That's another pandemic out there. The other one is uh, the restiveness that comes with a uh, lack of opportunity for the young people. The oil producing region, the place that where the the golden goose that lays the golden eggs for Nigeria. The people from that part of Nigeria had to steal their own crude oil to survive. You can't even be, you can't believe that. So yeah, the NSCDC armed to the teeth, eh, followed by the AIT crew. The credit for this video goes to AIT, by the way, okay? And this is what they did in that same river state, where we were wiki was uh, throwing tantrum earlier. Let's go back to that, you know, stay in river states again. In a convoy, journalists and men of the Special anti vandalism Squad of the Commander General of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps drove from the command's office in Port Harcourt to Odagwa community and hit the forest where the refining sites were after an hour drive. The inspection of the sites took immediate effect as journalists were conducted around the pipelines and warehouses where the alleged illegal operators vandalized the facilities of one of the multinational oil companies lay pipelines on the ground, linking it to its equipment for the siphoning of crude oil. In the course of conducting news with rounds, many story points and refined sites of crude oil were displayed See for before yourself, pressmen. This is the receiver. This is where the product is now ended. And from here, they can now export out of this vicinity to so there will be suppliers or buyers. The NSCDC River State Command spokesperson, Ayodoli, gave a comprehensive details of the discovery. This is Odagwa community in HA, local government of River State. Five suspects have been arrested presently while others at large. They were arrested for vandalizing the warehead of Harris Energies. They tapped into the warehead using different holes, different pipes. 
Some of the suspects who were arrested said they went into the venture because of the fast cash out. We, are, we, are, we don't have a specific amount that I pay. It's what, it's what to work out. Like for today now, if you succeeded, how much will you be paid? It can, I can work out in better strength. You can, you can earn up like 40,000, 50,000. So why do you join this uh, occupation? I just see it as a easier to end live your life. At the squad with journalists moved from one point to another, more refining sites were discovered. Over there is uh, the refining pot there where they cook the crude oil. As we are approaching the refining site, we heard some persons running away, suspected to be the illegal operators. The commandant has reassured the uh, Nigerians, reverse people, that the NSCDC is ready to address the issue of uh, illegal bankruptcy in River State and in the Niger Delta region. My brother Jerry, AIT News, H. Since then, born me, eh? I have been seeing the Nigerian police, Nigerian Army, Nigeria Air Force, NSCDC, even politicians, eh? Exposing oil bunkery and those who are doing oil, I mean, illegal refineries in Niger Delta since them bomb me. Since the, since the day I knew how to pronounce up Nepa. You know that time where you are going to be that, 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 that. You know that where you're like a tata, you're like a papa, 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 papa. Mama, mama, mama. A pepper, a pepper, a pepper, a pepper, like that. Probably I was maybe one and a half year old. I don't know. See, they don't they bust. If we do a lega, they call them a lega, refinery, lega, this, lega, that in Niger Delta. This is 2024. We will make sure we hand all the people doing a lega, this, lega, that. It's all lies. All right? That's for the media, right? Everybody is trying to milk whatever they can milk from that system, as they can see the big fish coming in and taking the bulk of these resources for themselves. And they are left with nothing. It's unfortunate, isn't it? So I will say we don't, you do, we said something about the epidemic of courtists earlier. Some of you, you are retired courtists. Some of you know the meaning of who goes you. I said, who dare you? But now, now don't tell me say now who goes you. You don't now don't even talk the meaning inside the comment section. Now that is how we have to do some deliverance of some of you too. Some of you are like a retired courtist. If I if we need a tutorial now for the coming generation about this pandemic, we need some of you to sign up. We need your experience and experiences in this matter. So yeah, are you not reading their comments? I took my time to go and read some comments. There was a ah, head by making no church. In temple, you know, inside this temple, we get retired courtists. I'll be some of you read them online. So we have a lot of work to do on all of us anyway. So going forward, eh, we have seen what is happening in there. But here is the last time when the Nigerian government said they have uh, uh, launched a man on for the escaped. Uh, what do you call it for the escaped uh, Binance uh, executive in their custody? Remember that, right? Just for the record. Listen. There is now a widespread uh, manhunt on him. The Interpol has also been, been contacted, and the uh, government is optimistic that uh, uh, this individual will be brought to book uh, uh, very soon. And uh, those who were charged with the responsibility of uh, uh, keeping him in custody, have also been arrested and they have been questioned. And as more information as regards that is available, it will be made available uh, to Nigerians. For us in revenue, it doesn't matter because we are dealing with company, not individual. So irrespective of where they are in the world, we have what it takes to make sure that they come and they comply with our law. So it doesn't matter whether the man is here or anywhere in the world. As long as we have Binance, there is no way they will escape the compliance uh, matter that will file against them. So 
there is now. If we lend ourselves to innovation, uh, we can create wonders. Yeah, it's a successful again, a town hall different from Bala Blue, 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 Blue. So let's take calls, okay? I'm going to go try and then uh, have uh, a fresh tea, which will take me like about two minutes to get back, okay? But if you have to go, uh, uh, well, it's all right. Just make sure you like the broadcast before you do, before you leave, all right? That's to show that you are here. And if you really want to be part of this as well, which is the other part of this conversation, the number to call is right there on your screen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you as well who have been really, really supporting this platform in your own way. Seriously, right? None of them is taken for granted, okay? Thank you once again. I will be back in a minute or two uh, if you are still going to be here. Call you. Carry me the go, Joe. Carry me the go. Seventy years old man. Jesus is Lord. Thank you. And you are welcome back again. So the line is already buzzing. And I think I have my first caller already tonight. Hello there. Hello, my Yego General. Good evening to you and the Temple of Truth. The African Wahala. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm doing very well, my dear brother. How are you? Very well, too. Thanks for asking. Yes, yes. Man, I have to jump in this evening to express my thoughts on the entire presentation. Shout out to Senegal, my African Senegals. Congratulations to you guys. We all understand that there is no perfect country in the world. And nobody is expecting perfection from any society. Well, reasonable people are not expecting perfection. But the mere fact that the Senegalese institutions could kick in and implement the um, check and balancing between the legislative and the executive arm of government, that shows that there is a little bit of hope. And the message to my fellow victims of the evil contraption, a lot of us genuinely, and this is genuine, okay? 
a lot of us genuinely don't even know our rights in the society. We don't know the functionalities of the government. And that's why the clown, Sani, can be making statements like, oh, you don't have to know how they were rescued. Forget about that. Don't worry. This, the, the army is the one you should be asking that question. No. In a real society where you are a real citizen, you should have the ability to ask those types of questions. But clearly, we can see the level of arrogance between the Nigerian politicians and the Senegalese counterparts. In Senegal, when Macky Sall was trying to implement the new French stooge to take over him, the Supreme Court came in and said, no, that's not going to happen. We are going to set the date for the actual elections. And they did. And the young guys came into power. We are happy. Now, nobody is saying those young guys are going to be perfect. Nobody is saying those young guys are going to turn Senegal into heaven. No. But at least there is hope in the system. And that system was able to do the right thing. And that's and all also, what we are asking for. But that's not going to happen. Yeah, in addition as well, they can no longer wholly blame the older generation anymore. Their destiny is now in their hands. Okay? How they flip it, how they run Perfect. it, is now in their hands. That's some, that's some real privilege, Baba. And the hair needs. Honestly. I mean, I wish we could have that situation, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen in Nigeria. It's not. Because even the Nigerians don't know how a country is supposed to be run and they have no idea what their rights and responsibilities are as citizens. That's why they call these politicians daddy. And that's why these politicians call them, oh, my children, mm -hmm. on national TV. Then let's go to Togo. Togo, congratulations to Togo for implementing the parliamentary system of government. What they have proven is that their institutions are also strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though the Nyasibe family has been in power for 50-something years, about 50, so the son, Fao, has been in power for 19 years. His father was in power for 40 something years. Right. So those guys were, have been in power altogether for about 55 years, one family. But even within the state capture of Togo by the Yansigbe family, their Supreme Court or whatever system they used to implement this change in their constitution still stands on top. And that just shows that any society where individuals, human beings, are less powerful than institutions, they have hope. Unfortunately, Nigeria does not have that situation, and it's never going to have that situation. It's not. We don't need to waste our time. I don't need to be explaining why it won't. I mean, we all have seen what has been going on in Nigeria for so long. It's easy to come. It's easy to come to a conclusion that it's never going to happen. So I just thought I chipped in. Um, sorry, sorry to my, my young brother there that was bunkering oil in Bayelsa State. He was interviewed. They asked him how much he was making. He said he was making 40,000 naira, which is like, I don't know, $4 or something. Um, maybe, maybe $30. It's, it's just, it's minutes. crazy. Something like that. You know, it's just unfortunate that the people are treated this bad for taking the same crude oil that these criminal politicians steal as well. The criminal politicians, they steal the crude oil, they use it to do whatever they want. They don't it's get punished because they, they are bigger. In front of cameras. Exactly. Thank you so That's much. That's it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, my good general. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. And I'm glad yes, you sir. said something there about, uh, you know, uh, people uh, in Niger that I want to use the word people, right? It reminded me of, uh, I just, I mean, I was uh, going to, uh, send our condolences to our people in Maryland, Baltimore in Maryland, uh, in the U.S. What is the name of that bridge that collapsed again? I screenshotted it so I won't forget. Uh, it's called the Francis Cotter Key Bridge. Yeah, there is a major bridge that collapsed in Baltimore in Maryland in the United States of America last night. It was hit by a, uh, you know, a ship. And then uh, it's a bridge where you had cars on the, on the bridge. The entire bridge collapsed, plus the car, the traffic on the bridge, everything collapsed inside the water. So the fire departments were trying to get everybody out. And in this one, eh, I know that uh, 
I probably do have a lot of us there from Maryland who are also members of this platform, which means the news is all over your TV since last night. So it will be of, uh, uh, you know, it will be of uh, no uh, kind of uh, uh, the nature of us, right? Uh, not to uh, share in your time of grief, okay? I can only imagine what it is like in your city right now, especially a lot of people who come from, uh, who watch it from the US. I have uh, I have another call on the line. Yeah, hello there. The general, the uh, general. Yes, <laughs> How are you? CA from Atlanta. I'm good, man. How are you doing today? From Atlanta. I'm good. I'm good. It's been a rainy day in Atlanta. Rainy. Has it, oh, has it been? Uh, uh, rainy. It's been rainy all, like all, all the all since morning. Like yes, all. yeah. It's been, it's been windy, yeah. raining, and very cold in Glasgow, too. Kind of awkward. Yeah. Glasgow. It's about 6, 12 p.m. right 6, 12 p.m. right now. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me stop. Sometimes I just sit back and listen to let people call. And I enjoy callers and stuff. That's why I don't call in regularly. You know, I, I always enjoy people calling. Sometimes, but sometimes uh, I'm not... you just can't let go. I can't. I can't. I can't hold. Yes, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. Look at the charity that's going on with these kidnapped uh, children. This is this is insanity. This is just insanity. Look at too many questions to be answered. No, uh, to be answered. No answers anywhere. Funny, funny thing. So this people are just making money off Nigeria. They develop another industry in the north. They develop an industry in the north, collecting money from Nigerian government and funding whatever they are funding in the north. They that is terrible. The kids using kids as the that is terrible. In all of this. Terrible. I want people complain. The simple complain. My good tell me if this kind of business happened in the south. Are you telling me those people have not been, they wouldn't have been dealt with right now? If it's going to be them invading the entire South and Nazi as soldiers to start killing and shooting aside, they will do it. They're going to shoot everybody. They go to the village where the children are kept and they'll shoot everybody. Burn everybody in this, on, 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 on site. I saw a news today, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's the news that uh, the Kano High Court citing a violation of uh, the Sharia where Islamic uh, law and they ban a lady from using social media because it's uh, using social see, media. She using social and, media as a lady violates. And pe pe people people are talking. People are talking about uh, change in Nigeria. It's so good what are, happened. This, are, this, this, this. I mean, we are. We might be in the same place called a country, but we are not. In fact, we are not. You know, we are not. What happened in Senegal? Oh. What happened in Senegal cannot happen here. Not because. Is the youth are not ready to do it? That's I'm happy with what happened with the last election. They said the youth are not coming. They came out. They did. Look at what they did. Look at what they did. To register for an election is a problem. To vote is a problem. Have you seen any country? You have to Have you seen any country in the world? We have to register for an election is a problem. To vote is a problem. To can't vote is a problem. To release result is a problem. I just don't understand what is going on. And people still think this country is going to be better. I don't know what gives them that confidence to say that this country is going to be better. Then you will be safe, blah, blah, blah. You will say, great country. Uh, let's be hopeful. Uh, other countries pass through. They keep, and those are the real enemy of progress. Not you, my not me. We already know what's going to happen. But you see those people come telling you, pray for Nigeria. The country is going to be good. Uh, well, uh, we are too negative about it because we've seen what is going to happen. Yeah, and as another factor, people forget, people forget about one important factor. They are already preparing for 2017. And we you know 2017 is not going to happen. There's no way you can win an election in Nigeria with through voting. You can't change the government through vote. That is, they should take it out. It's not possible. And you mentioned you participate in the charade. You cannot say you want to organize a revolution because they cheat you. They will say it's because yes. you lost. That's why you now want to shut the country down. Then they will call their soldiers. So if you are not really ready for what is going to be the aftermath, stop deceiving on ourselves like uh, you can change uh, anything through the ballot. It won't happen. And once you participate you know, the, uh, in this, uh, you cannot complain later. And you say can't. They, they you can't do anything. No. If you do and that, those who... Those who they will be saying, uh, "Why don't you use? Why don't the youths organize each, organize themselves? Why are they complain? Now nah, they came out. Where's the result? 
they came out. So I, I'm happy what, with what happened in the last election. At least I've shown that the youth have at least they've tried. They came out solidly behind the candidate. And look what look at how they truncated the whole thing. Abandoned by the institutions that were supposed to uphold what they call their law. And the result is what you found. It's a shame. Look, eh? look at look at look at I look at the Supreme Court. They are looking at Senegal now and they are like, ah oh, man, that could have been awesome. It's not going to happen. Not, Senegal cannot happen in Nigeria because of factors. It won't, no. Apart from the positions that are crooks, apart from positions that are crooks, there are this third force, the full and the caliphate. They decide who is going to be president, whether I would like it or not. They decide who is going to be president in Nigeria. Would I like it or not? But it's just that they are not, by any means, having access to the political uh, control of the place. But they do have some presence there too, Senegal. You know that? Yes, yes, I know. It's a, it's Mayugu, a, it's let me not keep you. It's, it's, uh, it's sad. I it's sad that this is happening, but I mean, but they keep change, on. revolution is just the, the breakup of the country is inevitable and it's going to happen. And, and that's the only way. That's the only way to have a positive change. But through the ballot, forget it. They're going to decide who's going to be the president and nothing can be done. Thank you, Mayogo. God bless you, CA. Eh? You have a wonderful evening, by the way, because already evening right here in Atlanta, in Georgia. Here is another caller. Eh? Hello. Yeah. Baba, yeah. my kid. How are you doing today, Baba? It's my day. It's at the bio from Sweden. Sweden. Baba, I feel you. It's, Prince. Yeah. It's such a pleasure Baba, to hear from you today, today. And sometimes he will be so busy enough that you will you. be the least person I think will make it through. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, you know, today I'm at home. I didn't go anywhere. That's so nice. I'm just listening to you in the afternoon and I decided to call. From Sweden, now. please. <laughs> Adebayo, 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 yeah, Adebayo, Adebayo, not Adebayo. Adebayo. I've got to yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Baba, you know, what happened in Senegal today? It's just like, as a Nigerian, eh, everybody will be jealous now. Do you know that that president now is like, people at, at his age are still collecting money from their parents I in Nigeria. You. They are still living with their parents. I tell you. <laughs> and they are still there. I deal with you on social media that you have no idea. Shut up your mouth. What do yeah. you know? At the age of 38, yes. at the age of 40, the ones who you went know? to school and graduate, they would rather be PA you or a lawmaker or a PA to so this or that. As, Baba, Baba, as I was just watching that thing, that video of that man being uh, making his speech, That's so eh, old guy, eh, the next thing I saw on Instagram is Nigerian, Nigerian old youths, those old youths, those ones that are above that man, above forty something, eh. arguing about very dark man, Bobris Fi. That's what they are doing. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I say, God, what this this Nigerian? Where 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 will the people learn? When have you been when they are mates? Ah, Baba, no. I actually yeah. take it's shocking, man. country, taking over country. But do you know something it's I have to say? Of country. Baba, it'd be like, say, this whole thing that we have witnessed in the Senegal, eh, that all of us are yeah. of, like talking about today, is actually mm. a, a, a revolution sponsored by the Senegalese in diaspora. Now, one thing we can leave at the old place, eh? And this is not the first time I'm witnessing this. Though anything we enter Nigeria, logically, mm. you know, you can't say, oh, something work here. Oh, yeah, go and apply it to Nigeria. You yeah. run mad because you go, you go kill yourself, yeah. right? So you have to develop yeah. a different kind of you know template for Nigeria. But this is not the first time. You exactly. remember like Jame of Gambia. Yeah, yeah Jame. You remember oh, that guy that now. Now the country guy for London, oh, Manchester. Yeah. The guy, the guy, but the guy took game in as the president, second term now. Yeah, president. Yeah. Yes. His name is yes. Baro. Baro. Baro, yeah. Yeah, yeah Baro. Baro. You remember that guy? You remember that guy also returned mm -hmm. from uh, I know the from guy. UK. Back to, he was UK. like a clown to Jaya Jamie, yeah. the dictator. Jamie was, has been there for 22 yeah. years. You remember now? But yes, the, now. But the diasporans, the Gambians in diaspora, a couple of they just agree. Can't send one of them. And like she will you, return that time. Eh? You, it worked in yeah, the country. Yeah. The dictators fair. Same thing is happening in Senegal. You know what? So yeah, you know why it's not working in our country. Uh, Prince, if I say sometimes when we yeah. point the fingers and say, all of you look at you, you are wasting your time. If you look under the finger, if I say they point yeah. at us too, eh, Prince. 
I will tell you. I like, will tell you. All of us, we did this. Day. I will tell you. No. Set our priority right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go on. Once you, once you bring it to Nigeria, mm -hmm. eh, the old the old fools, because Baba, I go need to insult them now. The old fools that call themselves our elders, those are our elders, they are foolish, either cowards, they are cowardice, they cannot point finger to the right place. And the ones who are ruling in the ruling class, they are fools, killing their own citizens. Killing their own citizens. You see the way yeah, Jambe was that time. Mm -hmm. That old fool too, is only the only thing he was he cared about was how to show how powerful he is. You know, he used to do this, they are wrestling. He used to say, ah, he's a wrestler. Lead your country out of darkness, no way, until they forcefully remove him. Enough. Our own case, he wants you to come out to say you want to remove, you want to change it. In. They will find one tag and give to you, and then they, they will criminalize you, you and then they will find you. Are you a Yoruba? He said, you are a Yoruba man. Are you yeah. sure? Yes, I'm a Yoruba man. I don't mm. think I want to. I don't think we should align with you, but okay. Like we don't really like. Mm. I say, okay, are you Igbo? He say, ah, no, 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 no. I don't think <laughs> I want to align with Igbo. I don't think this is this thing will work. Now the Igbo people they in charge. I'm telling you. I'm not sure that this thing will work. Now the Igbo people they beside it and behind it. You, you know, see this idea they, is so great. They land it. I'm not sure that it will work. Now Christians they behind them. Uh, Nigeria own they different. No, but it's true. Mm. It's different. This, this, this is true. We learn these things from the masters, which is UK and America. You see the way, just watch the way they, are, they fight their wars. UK and America, especially America, when, they, when, uh, when they, they are, their own allies are fighting, they will use the media. That BBC and CNN, they lie, they lie. They lie. Everybody, you know, everybody was believing that Ukraine was dealing with Russia. Uh -huh. Until uh -huh. recently. Uh, that's what Nigeria is doing. That's what they do too. Once you come out like this, look at what they did to that governor, governorship uh, candidate in Lagos. They say it's, that they is a, what's the, what's the story? It's a Shinedu. Anybody that brings, yeah, they say it's a Shinedu, is a, is a, is a guy, you know? It's going to remove both the Uba Obas in Lagos and it will replace uh, them with uh, AZ. Yes. An educated people. Uh, AZ. One lady in America did audio from the yeah. US yeah. and she was calling for mm. the killings of Igbos in Lagos. Because they hear that ah. once uh, Badibo become governor, he will remove all lobbies, Yoruba eh. lobbies in Lagos, and he will replace eh. them with AZ. Eh. Uh, educated people ah. actually spread that all over. Baba, all over to, uh, what do you call it? I will not lie to you. I will not lie to you. Eh. The problem, Nigerian case needs to use, you know, we need to sponsor people to, to do the needful. Yes. From diaspora. What is the war? What is the war? It's war Remember, against the youth. I it's war against the all youth. of us. I said, after all of us have now yes. understand that uh, we have a lot in common, Abi. You see, that resources we they send back to Nigeria. That remittances we they send <laughs> back. One, I mean, sorry, yes. 44. No, it is over 44 billion dollars a year now as <laughs> the poverty increases. <laughs> Even if just one percent, about one percent of that 44 billion 1%, we Baba. channel towards. Revolution and other people, uh, groups and others I'm who are working, mobilizing, networking. If that now only one percent of that money that we are able to put together regularly oh. every oh. year to push towards that, where well, you see difference. I have seen what they did I'm in telling. Senegal. I'm I don't telling. know what they did in few places too. Until we get to that stage, eh? Mm -hmm. oh. Baba. We'll keep trying. This is this is very heartbreaking, you know, because. If I see Senegal, the way I looked at, I was looking at those young people, I was almost here. I said, oh, ah, no, ah. I be keep go go out, let, out, let all of them. Well and see, almost this happening. Ah. Senegalese. And they say Nigerians are the smartest people in, in Africa. They say we are the smartest, that we, we dust us. all the African countries. But look at what they are doing for themselves. No, they lie to us, Baba. They lie to us, Prince. Anyway, but, thank you so much. But, you might take another one. Thank you. Nice zone. Thank this you. Is bio from Sweden. Eh? You have a good one, Baba. So I have another caller, though, but I want to say thank you to my man that will never call me, but just send me super chat to speak to me. Your me talk to. Here is what we have on the screen. A corruption, I'm sorry, the corruption in Nigeria won't allow it to happen. Even the people themselves are opportunists, too. They will love to take advantage of the diasporans. Only want money before they follow you. I know. And that money has to be consistent because if you spend the money from January 
to December 30th. If they ask you for that money by December 31st, and you tell them to wait and give you time, the money is not available. Forget all you have spent from January, January 1st to December 30th. Eh? If another person come around and just give them that one they needed for December 31st, the one you have spent for the last 365 days gone is nothing. And it breaks out, you know? Hello there. Hello, Mr. Maigo. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening to you. How are you? Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. I haven't called. Uh... I know a lot for of for a while. Like yeah. You 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 know you get you make me get used to you, then you disappear, and then you come back from there, and you'll be like, <laughs> "My ego, do you know who is talking?" I'm like, oh, "I don't know." <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, well, you know, I've 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 come to realization, kind of, um, that Nigerian politician, they are only there to to you know to distract you know people from the real the real issue so we have we have uh, this kidnapping of children and all uh you know after they announce it that oh some people have been kidnapped and so on so that will you know linger you know that will be in in people's memory and you know they'll be talking about it they will forget that uh there's a hunger in the in the land we have a a president that that forced himself into you know on nigerians and so on so we we forget that so after a while oh, they will say ah yeah okay they found them oh. so these are all just man-made Issues so you see, it's just the area where we started that's is, that that's they is, are using that is the way they go. Yeah, that's the way. That's yes, that's it. Is, I mean, it's it's sort of valid, okay? Because no yeah, one, yeah. they do not want us to ask questions. Who took them? Some people must be responsible, okay? Then, what did you give to them before they released them? All right, and then how is it rescue or release? Say no, no, us, no, us. Let let us just be happy. You know they are back. Our children are back. Are you joking? Because they have something. <laughs> yeah, Ima imagine after some time now, if people are uh you know making some kind of a comments that oh we no go agree or nobody go agree for anybody, they will start chasing people around that oh those kind of uh, language can cause. Hell. So they can cause this, they can cause that. Nothing is happening, you know. We thought we are we are in a, a democracy where you know speech, you know, we can say anything. It's right here, yeah. your own <laughs> expression. So why why would you be choosing you know talk people? Yeah, hey, now you in fact yeah. have a problem. So you get okay, so <laughs> yeah. So what is happening? The kidnappers, the terrorists, and all of they can't find those ones no. they are you know kind of you know looking for them yeah the governor will come out saying yeah they they they, 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 they found some of the they're working they are looking for them they are yeah immediately they finish that statement they are inside their offices they are air conditioned offices laughing oh yeah. look at them at least you said you know, you know, that is their own that is their own way of imagine, ruling. Let's let's let me and you just imagine what it is like inside that room where they are cooking all of that thing. For example, now they will say, yeah. Excellency, sir, Excellency, sir, the camera is ready when you are ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. And you will say, Yes, okay. Uh, is that what I said? I will say no ransom paid, and I will thank her, <laughs> say, I will thank a president, I will thank the army. And I will tell people that we should all rejoice. Say, yes, Your Excellency, the camera is on now. Uh, if you are ready, sir. Are you ready, sir? I say, yes, I am. Okay, yeah, go ahead, sir. I say, okay, yeah. No ransom paid. We are grateful to NSA. We are grateful to the Army. Our children are back. We are happy. Let us celebrate. I say, thank you to Mr. Tidumbu. Then it will be like, it will be like, is the camera off now? They say, yeah, Your Excellency, the camera is on. I say, ah, oh, my. Let's hope that one will work, eh? Oh, yeah, post it. Tell me the reaction. Now, you, 
Uh, oh, so my God. Yet. And all of it. I kind of can imagine it. Because, oh, I mean, oh yes. Come on now, who do they think they are? And who do they think That's they what they're doing. That, yeah, that's, that's why. I... <laughs> Hello? Go on, Baba. I'm with you. Yeah, that's 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 why they don't like questions no. because they are not prepared for it. They don't have answer to, for it. Hmm. So they now look at themselves that oh no, nobody can ask any other question because they are not they they haven't prepared for that kind of speech. So because there's nothing real is happening. Because if truly something real is happening, there will always be answer to any question. Hmm. Right, because truly, genuinely, they are doing something, and you can see in their faces yes. that yes, this these people are doing, but these people are not doing. Maybe they just finish eating two and uh, no, four and you know, and they just like so, uh, this uh, is uh, no, so, let's let's do this. Ah, okay, Alaji, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, uh, just yeah, just yes, summarize it by saying thank you, Mr. Uh, President. You, 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 you have PAs. been well. All their PAs, they will they, they, be acting like professionals. Say yes, yes, that one is good. Yeah, yes, sir, very good. Uh, we are sense that now. We will release all of that to the Arise News, uh, AIT channels, and all of them. I've called them now. They are yeah. coming, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria is gone, no, honestly. But now I'm glad that Senegal, at least, that is a like a wake up call for every Nigerian youth. That okay, what happened in 2000 and, uh, 2023 can happen again. So it's just a way of you know reminding them that look nobody is the owner of nigeria we are all nigerians here so anybody have the right to vote or whatever and then always that will be a reminder people will come out even if 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 it's their charade uh, uh election whatever people just come out just uh, you know uh, say your I own to advise them to say listen pause beating twice shy if you are still yeah. convinced that now nah, this election you want to take, start your own wala with them. It is better you know waiting you to get yourself involved in. Okay? Do not come back onto social media and begin to say, hey, United Nations, United America, yeah, UK, look at what they are doing to us. They don't allow us to uh -huh. vote. They are destroying our... Uh, this. Don't come back to social media because United Nations, America, EU, nobody go listen to you. Is that you are ready that as then they come with bottle. You say if you get the jagam with the under your clothes, you go come out and say, Oh, Benny will be you, see you, no rich here. Eh? <laughs> one, yeah. you. But if you are not ready for all of that, and you won't go collect plastic card with your photo on it to remove drug dealers, good luck with that. Uh, now 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 this. Now, as we are speaking, yeah. they are they are already planning for another life, you know, or something that will distract people again. That okay, she been our own uh, CEO that have just escaped uh, for this or uh, whatever. So that one now is in the is on social media now. People are talking and debating about it and so on. So I'm pretty sure maybe next week or whatever they will they will kidnap another four hundred uh, girls from somewhere and then. Uh, you know, start parading it as as an issue. Well, I think uh, 300, uh, I mean, 200 supposed terrorists, those who have link with terrorists, no longer have the link with terrorists anymore. So you may not witness any mass kidnapping in the next uh, few weeks, or you witness mass release of uh, <laughs> clear yeah. Boko Haram fight. Well, Nigeria is a mess, Baba. I'm going to take another one, eh? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, sir. You should have yeah. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, you too. So, yeah, uh, too right, right. I need the uh, oh, I'm gonna if I say I have taken another call, right? So I'm gonna DM my caller. Can you hear me? Okay, I didn't take it, so I I I, I sort of took it late. But I've taken another one now. But I'm gonna ask my caller to stay on there. Please don't leave. Stay there. I want to quickly ask uh, all of us who are still there uh, in the temple. With us tonight, as you are trying to call in, I advise you bring out your phones, okay? At least, come on now. How can we be over 2,000 at the point? And you could barely see a thousand of you who have actually liked the video, like such a, a big deal, right? So if you can do that for me, that would be great. I have another call on the line. I want to that's Adiola, but maybe I'm wrong. Hello there. You're 100% right. This is Adiola speaking, man. How are you doing? Right. 
Thank you. Uh, Adiola. <laughs> how far, Baba? How are you doing? We're well, very well. Uh, I just want, hopefully, this night, I'm not going to take too much of your time, Jerry. You just, you know, I think this night's um, edition is quite, you know, it's quite, uh, you know, interesting to see how Senegal okay. Okay. I know. try to, you know, to start on a different, you know, trajectory, which is quite impressive, you know, and I applaud them for making that change. And can you replicate it in Nigeria? I think it leaves, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that can happen. I don't think that can happen. I think we, it's sad and to say like, that so we have- go deeper, right? Do you not yes. think there were those who genuinely believed that these guys were wasting their time in Senegal too? Like genuinely? Of course, of course. Even to so genuinely, yes, of course. Yeah, this old noise of course, makers, of course. Just social media, yeah, deluded and all of that. So you probably might not have to say it only that it can't happen in Nigeria, but I do know where you are coming from. I'm just saying, right? Um, but, uh, I think eh? there's a lot at stake in Nigeria because of the vast amount of wealth. Right. You know, there's a vast amount of wealth. You know, you know, you know. So. The, there's a lot to lose. So people would, you know, rather, you know, die than to allow, you know, to release all the advantages. So I think based on that, um, it's hard to replicate that model. Every country or every contraption in Africa, so to say, I think there's there's a method that is, is intrinsic to them that would work for them. I, I don't think you know, yes, it, it's, it's a cut and paste. Applicable to everyone. Yes. Everyone, their own yes. uh, situation or what view is always unique. Yes. And yes. Okay. I get that. Go on. Yes. So, so our own solution is embedded in where our problem lies. So I think after a while, you know, you know, the the outcome of this current administration maybe would wake people up to let them understand, you know, what, you know, this train is going nowhere. It's grounded. It, 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 it's like a train that you think is going to go, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So I believe the outcome of this current administration would, you know, eventually open people's eyes up to, to say, you know what, this is inevitable. The change has to come. It's not a country. Yeah. We keep on distributing ourselves. It's, it's, it, it's not a country. It, it has never been a country. And to not be a country until people, the, the people that are in that contraption agree to be one, you know, there's a book called the you know tropical dependencies by Flora Shaw. It's a fun, you know you know it's a book whereby I think everybody should you know you know you know you know should look at and you know although it's condescending in the times whereby she wrote it, but it it gives you a full understanding of how they see us as black people, hmm. you know. And the moment you understand that that's the woman that purportedly coined the name Nigeria. And and if you look at the you know the the name of that in you know, Nigeria, it, 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 it's a different ball game altogether. So until we understand that it's not a country, it's not just saying it's, it, it, it's not saying it's not a country. It's not acting like one. That contraption is not acting as a country. It has never acted as a country. So it's sad to say, but I'm a school of thought that we have to weigh this out. People that have been shouting and uh, Tinubu, Tinubu, Tinubu. Eventually, their, their eyes will clear that, you know what, this train is not going anywhere. And my only comfort is that there's a generation of people that I believe would not take this nonsense. This is my point. So mm -hmm. if other generations could take it, so it, it, it's a build up. You know, it's not sustainable. You know, we, we've all said it in this program that, you know, at some point, this it will crack. It will, it, this system, you no, know, but Michael, let's just be honest with you. Let's be honest. Do you think this 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 system that your country running on would would, would make people prosperous? Impossible, Baba. I mean, we all are. It's impossible. That, uh, the entire thing was put together not to uh, serve me and you. All right. So yes. it is meant to serve some certain interests. We are the serfs. We are the ones who have to toil the ground and sweat and bleed. To ensure that uh, those mm -hmm. that the Nigerian uh, project is put together to serve continue to benefit from it, we all agree that this whole uh, uh, arrangement that Nigeria is not working and the rest of that they are all man-made. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all intentional. So of mm -hmm. course, why would I can kind of be deluded enough to believe that a contraption put together intentionally to keep me poor, miseducated? Yes. 
yes. what they educate and this is the outcome the value. Yeah, so and i will we, think that is going to prosper me i will be one of the most deluded uh what do you exactly. call it animal that I ever lived it. so the 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 outcome we face the outcome every day the, the outcome of of this rubbish system is what we see every day we have all the proof you know sometimes you, you say to, to yourself oh well we oh, now, the country will get better it won't get better because the proof the outcome is reminding you every day that the proof is there it will not get better until you remove these people you know it, it is mind-boggling but at the same time i just have that belief that there's a generation of people that would come up that would not take this nonsense again because the outcome is convincingly that it will not become prosperous you know i don't understand why you know it's an un it's an anomaly because you mentioned the figure of 44 billion you know of of you know of you know of uh, foreign remittances into that country is even an anomaly whereby you have people living outside that contraption contributing immensely subsidizing the economy ruined by the it, it's economic sabotage my goal, hmm? my goal is nothing good to write home about if the people outside are more productive than people living inside it is it, it, it that, tells you that is not good it tells you it tells you it it's a it is damning you know during my undergrad you know there was a article that that sort of one French journalist wrote in you know in business day very fantastic guy wrote that article during my undergrad you know which i even use some of it as as my thesis and it was more or less shading of Basanjo at that point in time because it was globe trotting, looking for foreign capital, foreign 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 direct investment. Whereas they were mocking him, that school was mocking him that because you had Nigerians investing directly into that country mm -hmm. through uh, through you know you know remittances, yes. overseas remittances. So they were saying, why is it going up and down the whole place when he, when his own people are the ones contributing? mostly to the they economy don't even understand mm -hmm. the meaning of that so do you understand that abroad, you are looking for investors your entire yes. me, they, they are flying everywhere okay begging them yes. with the resources of nigeria where at the end of the yes. year they spend about let's say they spend uh, one billion dollars google gamma globe trotting right and at the end mm -hmm. of the year they bring investment of 1.4 billion dollars meanwhile nigerians mm -hmm. in the diaspora Regularly, from the <laughs> yeah. time we have been trying, I bring you forty fold of that. They will remit uh, twenty billion, twenty five billion, thirty billion. That's twenty five fold of that. And now forty four billion, but we we don't even have billion. plans to vote. <laughs> we don't have any right. You know, it, it, so so it, it's an anomaly whereby people living outside that contraption as the it one is contributing. It, it it doesn't make any sense. So it, it tells you that it has all the markings of of a state that is not well put together. And until we come to that realization, I think people need to be on the same page that you know what this thing is not working, and it's the and it's the poverty that is the driver of that. I, you know, people say, "Oh, the exchange rate are stabilized." Okay, fine, it's, it's a stabilized. Let's see how long it will hold for, because it, you know, it, it will just hang maybe at that one thousand five, one thousand six, one thousand seven. But hey, it's not going, going to go back to one thousand. See the plan. I'll tell you the plan. Okay. <laughs> Again, eh, it is to be waited out. It can't be like mm -hmm. a time like this that they bring the vision somehow. Because what I'm about to tell you right now is going to be like I'm trying to prophesy. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> so here is the plan. Okay? So they, they are intending to spend about $100 million. Mm -hmm. They do not have all of that now. Okay? But they intend to. They want to inject mm -hmm. that directly mm -hmm. into the hands of the BDCs. Give some to the yes. banks and then uh -huh. continue to quote how much the dollars must be exchanged for. That is the price uh -huh. control. Okay. They will get the dollars uh -huh. at uh, its real value, which is the value of about 1,900 naira to a dollar. That's the real value. Okay. That's the real value uh -huh. of naira now. 1,900 <laughs> something to a dollar. But in order to and make sure that, uh, yeah. you know, it doesn't look like they have destroyed Nigeria so that the zombie deal, I mean, the zombies can begin to feel like, eh, maybe uh -huh. they are working. So they want to keep the, they want to keep the market price at 1,000 Naira max uh -huh. and possibly 900 Naira to a dollar before uh -huh. April. Uh -huh. You don't say April is so near now. 
That means they have to mm -hmm. quickly roll out that money more. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they have shared 15 million in five days, mm -hmm. now we have five more days to the end of uh, March. And in mm -hmm. order for them to meet their targets, they will need to spend like another 15, 20, or 30 million dollars. See that little money we are talking about with the giant of Africa. See the little money mm. they, are, they are making people believe is the money that is now stabilizing <laughs> Naira and dollar. That, that, yeah, Baba, $15 million. This is where you know this is a complete joke, okay? But again, let's, let's ride with it. Let's ride with it. That the giant of Africa use $15 million in five days to bring the price mm. of exchange rate down and educated people believe mm. them, okay? So the next five days, mm. they will need to spend double of that. So at least to mm. take the money to about 45 million. Okay, mm. and then they can meet mm. maybe 950, 940 to one dollar, even 800 to a dollar. Mm. Make it sound great, but the problem <laughs> right now is that uh, once they announce 800 naira to a dollar, they would mm. have to spend so much money, they would have to find to more dollars to so make sure that they are supplying the demand that we are going to come on yeah. from May, mm. especially from May. They are going to mm. get some people want to pay school fees against September. Those who mm. want to okay, mm -hmm. pay medical bill on their elsewhere, you should get those who want to send mm -hmm. money to their children abroad and all of that. They will need more demand mm. now to fill in to make mm. sure, say the price no change suddenly from 800 to 2000 naira to a dollar. They will mm. need more dollar. Adola, you are an accountant, you have an idea of what I'm talking about. <laughs> they will need endless supply of artificially that managed. <laughs> it is a you know, you know, you know. how come we want to start on, on, I ever on the supply ever ever short for one mm. day or two mm. days. It will yeah. be a scenario I get accident again. The country uh, about to crash. It, five hundred story. It will be a very sharp crash. Yeah. You know, you're trying to artificially manage the exchange. That's what they are doing. You know, and the underlying issues remain. See, my goal. If we go back to the focus, you you know what may I believe will happen is that you will start seeing neighboring African countries taking matters into their own hands and prospering. You start seeing that other countries that would choose to work together will work together. Yes. And economically, they will leave Nigeria behind. I think they are already we might be doing, behind. Yeah, no, see, see, yeah, they will leave Nigeria the behind. They will leave Nigeria behind. They will leave, Nigeria behind. They will see, leave, leave us behind. They call the bluff of Nigeria and in jail. Of course, oh, now they will. They will be. It's a matter of time. So I don't believe in the concept of Africa uniting as a whole. The, the people that want to work together will work together. That is how everything is. So when they work together, then you that you choose not to work with, work with them, maybe you learn a lesson or two, then you now start changing your mind based on new information. So I believe countries like Senegal, they might not be as big as that contraption, but they will start having tangible evidence Something. of prosperity. And you will not start asking those questions. Baba, don't forget to, you still owe me and it's, me and uh, what's the name? Cham, a section on your program. We will I, have it. I don't forget to. I don't know, <laughs> see, there are so many people uh, already pinned down, and I'm going to wonder yes, so. we are going to work around that because I know you all are busy with your own everyday life too, right? But the fact that uh, we can, I can steal some time out of your time and you are willing to give them, right? Is enough. Of course. Of course. So I'm, I haven't forgotten. Adiola, Baba. Okay, no problem. You have Enjoy. Good, okay. Later. Nice one, Baba. So that's Adiola, my brother. Uh, and uh, he's a veteran on this platform. He's an accountant. And when he speaks uh, uh, logic about numbers, he loves number. You know, he's somebody who actually loves numbers, okay? And I love people who love numbers, okay? No homo. Well, I mean, like, because I'm so terrible with... Uh, I keep saying I'm terrible with number, but I don't think I'm that bad with number. But I, I, I'll keep believing that I'm terrible so that I can be better. All right? So, see, we have about uh, 15 minutes more or maximum of 20 minutes to go. And you are still here with me. You haven't really liked the broadcast. What is your excuse? In a reason, I can excuse it. Eh? Emoji. Hello there. Hello. Hello, my good, good, good evening. Good evening from here. Good afternoon from here. It is ah. How are you this afternoon over there? I'm fine. I'm fine, bro. I'm fine. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. At least, yeah, uh, it's working. It's working. The 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 evangelism is going. It's going. But uh, last night I saw something. I saw something that made me. I try to cry, but uh, I try to put myself. I said, uh, "Thank God, I've jumped over from the 
from that contract of call Nigeria. But but but, uh, but I'm, I still have people there. We have to we must think about that. I saw a male winning uh best female dresser in Nigeria you and know, people are celebrating. I, I, I have been telling myself that God please God please let nobody mention that thing at all tonight until they forget in Jesus' name. No, my we know Bob Risky and you know uh, <laughs> that's been everywhere all over you know the that, internet. That you know, you know when we don't when we don't speak on such things, our youth there because we that are here now, we, I, I, I've not said that we are lucky, but fact, we are lucky because things we know now they don't know it. Well, if we go there, they don't even have money to put uh, to to load their internet. I'm telling you the truth. Many of them they don't know what is going on. In, when I call my people down there and I, I, I'm telling them some things that is happening there, they will be like, eh? how do you get this news? How do you get this news? But they, they have office. They have office in their hands. They only know WhatsApp and Facebook and TikTok. That's what they know. So, I, you know, last night when I saw this thing and I saw 44 years old guy in Senegal becoming a president, you know, I was like, what is going on in our side? You see, it's very, very, it's, it's heartbreaking. And, and when you go back to the news, I saw one news again. People are still dying because of their rice. Students, youths again, are, are hustling because, to get a rice. That they also this, died in Bauchi because they wanted to go and collect 10,000 a few days ago. I just don't want to keep bringing yeah, up the death you see, here all the time. I, hmm. I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the old ones again because the old ones I told my friend last time I said these old guys now they are just buying time to die because they are, even their children cannot fit into their shoes because their, sho their shoes are so big filled with criminality so their children cannot fit in and the the youths that are coming on are very aggressive but just that just that the the securities are now pushing them down but when i look at these securities now i begin to ask myself are these people in another world because i i, I keep on saying this I, I cannot have a rifle and be guiding a man that that eat his dog is eating is, is feeding more than me and i cannot pay my child school fees when i get home but i have a rifle standing behind him the whole day Hmm. I for him. When I go back to my village, eh, my village is on fire. Eh, they will tell me if any people they are killing my people, or maybe bandits are killing my or I, people cannot travel. When, when, you, when, you, when you are leaving this place, the first thing will be in your mind: how are you going to move from Lagos to your last destination? How are you going to move from Abuja to a last destination? You begin to take think about another money expenses. Someone that feel someone that feel like ten hours, eleven hours. Normally, when you when you come to your country, you will relax your mind and you drive, enjoy the road. But this time around, you have to calculate all these things, and you can you see those men, you see them flying a uh, private jet. When you go to Nigerian uh, international uh, airport, you will see if you see the hangar of private jet, Mayegu. This, this belongs to all these old men. And I begin to see Wiki again. Now, Wiki is thinking that he has suppressed uh, Fubara. He now brought out his band. You know, he, he has been scared. Now, his, his band is back again. Now, he's now moving around with band. A minister that's supposed to focus from where else. You know? So, and, and, and again... Renewed change, renewed hope, renewing people's hope. Yeah. Because because I believe Afubara is not coming the second time. He has we we can we can push him to the wall. He's gone, and he has accepted defeat. I'm telling you, for Wicked to bring out uh, his band back to be making all this nonsense, then then he has gotten everything he wants that we push Fubara away. Except the people of Rivers, they said no. And, but we, which you know that it cannot happen because Fubara, looking at Fubara's face, he looks like a woman. He cannot do anything. But that is what, I, if you look at him, we came out. They said he deceived him. He didn't know that uh, he's a very smart, cunning guy. That uh, he is because he yeah. doesn't talk, he's quiet. Wiki thought, Wiki said, he said he thought he was a very 
obedient and loyal uh, person, uh, but immediately God the power is showing him now and uniting all his enemies behind himself. But he, but he, but, but he's not using uh, Fubara is not using the power. Okay, coming to coming to the dollar, coming to the money going down issue. You know, you know, last time. They they went and arrested the blue they change people. Later, I heard they gave them twenty thousand dollars. Now this time around, they begin to go to that end, that corner again. And I saw what they said about uh, the money they are going to give to them, so that they can put. So and I told my wife, I'm uh, in the next April. Get ready to this dollar will hit up to one six again because they, they will finish this money now. I don't know where they got this money. They are hiding it. You don't know how much they have. But let's give the benefit of the doubt that uh, maybe they can maintain it for the next uh, two months so that uh, people can mm. begin to see changes in prices of food. Because I never understand this kind of thing too, oh, my brother, sir. Because look at it, oh, dollar, they come down. Mm. Dollar, they go up. Price yeah. of food, they go up. Mm. Dollar, they, Naira, they mm. go up. Dollar, they come down now. But price of food, still, they go up. What did they happen? Yeah, that, 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 that going, food, food, food going up is is normal thing by Nigerians. You know, they, they you know anything that goes up in Nigeria never come down. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's 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 laughable when they say they remove ten naira from petrol from six fifty to six forty. It's laughable. If you want to crash it, let the see crash it. <laughs> crash it is ten naira. Yeah. <laughs> so, but 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 that, you know the, this this uh, this old man. I don't know. Their advisors are also old, or maybe they, they are they are fighting for their own stomach. But I believe the best advisor to them is going to be their children, which they are using our money to send to abroad to learn that their children have seen where the world is going now, like me and you. The, we, we, where the world, the world is going now. They are children supposed to tell Papa, this thing you're doing is not normal. Look at what you are going to be uh, later, the future, how this world will bring it. So, but their children are not telling them the truth because the money they are stealing is waste money to train their children. And those men that are in abroad or uh, all those men supporting them from abroad, if you take, if you look at them, if you know them one on one, you will see that these guys are people that came 1980 that don't know anything again. What that's where the world is again I now? Get uh, Gongola state, Bendel state. Yeah, time, so, you, get you, get states. you get them. Um, yeah, we talk about the so, stories. We they call them the Mumumadus here, yeah, okay? Yeah, Maybe so, Mumumadus, where we say they don't live in Nigeria. Yeah. If you ask them, I say, oh, Sorry, where you come from? Where you from? They say, I'm from, I'm from Western region. What? Yeah, Western region, Nigeria, Western region. You don't know Western region? So, this, they say, We're in Western these region. These are the people. Ah. Uh, Western region. These are the people. Yeah, as, this, uh, you left Nigeria a while ago. It don't, it's a long time. You no longer use Western region, Western region anymore. These are, are people. These are people. Western. They. These are people. They always go and search for and bring them. When you watch them, when you, when you watch the one on one on interview, like the last caller said, as uh, one caller said, they they don't know what to say. They don't. They are not prepared for any question. They are not prepared for anything. They are just straightforward, like 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 this kidnapping issue. I believe Tinibu is not saying the truth. And if if Tinibu want to, I don't know if he, if if Tinibu wants to live another twenty years on this earth. Let him close his eyes and deal with these guys very well, because these guys, after this ransom, now I told you, these guys are going to from the bank to pay the ransom. They paid ransom. They will not lie. They they they, they, don't, they never wanted the parents. They are monitoring the parents. They want to release uh, from Kuje uh, to mm. now. Eh? Those two and thirty yeah. people they said they have linked to Boko Haram. They are part of the two hundred and thirty. Yeah. This are the now. this are the them tomorrow now. Okay, they said no. They have no link to Boko Haram again. We are freeing them tomorrow. No. Me who are the suspects? Eh? They are part of the deal. May they come pick me. My ego. Hmm? Say, I said it last week. I said it last week. Uh, in the afternoon, I, I, I called in. Tinibu, um, Niger border opening is a, a, a part of the deal. This Boko Haram that went to release the Torah and Tati, part of the deal. This kidnapping is the, the threat Gumis gave. This is the threat. And the people that they killed a few days ago is the threat. So Tinibu is going to do more again to, for them. 
So I don't know if, if people want to live forever. Let him close his eyes and crush these people once and for all. Or divide Nigeria for us. Let us be free. But Nigeria is not going to work, like the uh, Adiola said. Nigeria is not going to work. Senegal, everybody, everybody, everybody will leave us behind. Everybody, we are already left behind already. We are just, we are just drowning. We, we are just drowning. You know, both the youth, the old, the, the young, and everybody, we are drowning. Even we that are in abroad now, there's nothing we can do to help the, those people there. But those people are there. They are not. They are, look at celebrating Bobrisky. You know. Thank you so much, my brother. Good night. Thank you, Thank you very much. Our time is almost <laughs> done now. In fact, right on the clock. I uh, will wrap yourself with yeah, this. Good. Okay. Uh they, they have, they have. I mean. Uh, they have left you behind. To so everybody who still think Nigeria is theirs, Nigeria is not for anybody. We need to remind them. Uh, Baba, thank you so much for being part of this, okay? Enjoy the rest of the evening yourself, okay? So, thank you. How many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? Ah! Eh? Man, they never leave you. They have left you behind. Photo, not be. Photo. So thank you so much, everyone, uh, for being part of uh, this long chat again tonight. It is the collection of all of the happenings, not just in Nigeria, but across Africa this time around. Now, if you joined us midway, it's been a wonderful 176 minutes. It's about 180 minutes so far. Three hours of an interesting conversation on this platform tonight. And I want to say thank you to every one of you who's been part of it all along, sharing it, liking it, and even commenting, engaging yourselves. But please, at, I mean, don't let these three hours come to nothing or waste if the message in this uh, video, eh, uh, for some reason, does not resonate with you. That will be a waste of time. Uh, my messages as they have never uh, left without making their impact. Here is one of them again. So make it count. Thank you so much for your time. I am going to see you some other time, okay? And it will be next, uh, I'll be tomorrow. Your breakfast and then uh, midday, uh, you know, session. So thank you. Take it easy. Good night. From here. My Egula, one more, I'm a do 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 do. My Egula, I am a do do Facebook, I am good today. I am so like you. I am good today. No, 
glory you too. I am good today. I am so like you. Oh, my God, they're all only if you want it all. 